the last look at Oracle for a while. Capping off the homestand with Indiana in town. 200 straight sellouts. Dove Nation, a huge reason the Warriors have been so good in this building. And Indiana's got to deal with that crowd tonight. Draymond going to back down Monte for a second. Clay Thompson, feet set, and three down. This is the team that closes out well on threes. I know fourth in the league in three-point field goal percentage at the defensive end, but Clay had all the time in the world there. Clay Thompson, a deep two out of the corner. Clay misses, but Julia knocks it back. Clay attacking and flipping it up and in. So Zaza Pachulia did a great job making sure Clay would have a free run to the rim. And that's a pretty pass on the reverse layup. Both Teague and Montales will try to get steals. They will turn their heads. They're always looking to be a ball hawker. Clay Thompson. Clay's feeling it early. You just get that sense. He's 5 of 6. He's got 11. The jump shot looks good. And he's cutting and shooting with authority very early in the game. Actually, Clay Thompson's getting aggressive. 13 for Clay. Paul George missing, and Curry with the rebound. And the lead to Clay, a little reverse. He's getting more adept at that. So there's no chance to block a shot coming on the right side. He just goes up and under, the rim protects you. He's got 15. Thaddeus Young sneaking in, and able to finish inside. Clay is rim running every time. And he's got 17. They're thrown right over the top of Jeff Teague, who's only 6'2". Clay's got a huge advantage on him. Clay Thompson, beautiful curl, and rewarded by David West. Carolina lost the game, as they keep doing, by the way. They're four and eight now. They got crushed last night. They're going to be in a record-setting situation from winning 17 and then stepping all the way backwards the year after. AD finding McCaw, catch and shoot three. David West kept it alive. Clay Thompson, open look. Yes, sir. He's having a night. Raymond just took it from Monte. Clay went to the three-point line and dropped in another one. And the bench is going nuts. 27 for Clay on 12 of 16 shooting. Oh, Clay's feeling it now. Another three. Clay will take it. Maybe that's what Livingston had in mind. 13 nothing Warrior run. Well, let's see if they give it to Clay next time down. I just love the teammates. The Warriors have fun. And they're enjoying that. Step right down the tunnel. <laughs> Zaza another steal. Clay's going to attack this time and get to the line. When Clay Thompson had 37 and a quarter against Sacramento, he was so hot in the final nine minutes that the game devolved into getting the ball to Clay. That's all it was. Clay Thompson's got the crowd buzzing, but he sets up Steph nicely, and the open three is down. Splash Brothers working together. Well, how do you defend? You get a guy who's already got 32, he goes to the rack, you got to give help, and he finds the best three-point shooter in the game. Draymond with a steal. Anticipation. Here's Curry in transition, all the blue jerseys around him. And kick out Durant, did well just to catch it. Better pass inside and another finish. I'm sorry, I've never seen 23 assists and one turnover. We get down back to Clay and oh, Clay Thompson, a little clever foul draw. Steve Kerr just said, finally, they've been asking Clay and Steph to do this. You can say the Warrior record for a half is 45 by Rick Perry. And Will. And Clay has 40 in the first half. Wow. Wow. Play on the out of bounds, and we got 42. They run the play for him. Play down the lane. And Jimmy Butler is the last player to have 40 and a half. He did it against Toronto. Play with a step through, and he's got 46. No help from Thaddeus Young at all. As I said before, his career is point three one three percent from three-point range. That's the difference between making him a more elite player than he's been. Thompson is grabbed. This would be Clay's second if he makes his free throw. And he does. He's got 50. 
Well, Chamberlain, by the way, had 105 50-point games. <laughs> Well, when you average 50.4 one year, it's... I'm just saying, Jim. Yeah, I just... 105. Yes. Andre at the controls. They cycle it to Clay. Still playing the right way. Hides behind Pachulia. Now you see him, now you don't, and he's going to the line to equal his career high. So Clay stays at 51. I'll tell you a story about that in a second. Clay three. There it is. A new career high. 54. For Clay Thompson. He's got the same career high as Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant. They've all got 54 now. And Steph falls into a foul with Jeff T. We're going to tell you it's Clay's career night. The 200 straight sellout. Enjoying the Splash Brother with 54 points in 26 minutes. Phenomenal performance for Clay. Yeah, you're going to jump at Clay. Draymond's going to get layups. Smart play. All that attention on Clay Thompson. Curry steals the inbound. Warriors are having fun. Clay for three. Good. Well, now he's got to go for 60. 57. <laughs> More than Durant. More than Curry. Corner three, 60! 60. 60 for Clay Thompson! Will Chamberlain, Rick Barry, Joe Fulks. Warriors with 60. And Clay Thompson joining the group. You want to hear the loudest ovation of the night? It's about to happen as Ian Clark subs in. Okay. For Clay Thompson. Enjoy. He had 40 in the first half. He had 20 in the third quarter. A 60-point night for Clay Thompson. The Warriors win their 18th game. Clay, career high, 60 points. Oracle Arena chanted your name. What was it like hearing that? Uh, well, it felt great, obviously. Uh, ah! Nah, I'm still hot. <laughs> but uh, it was fun. I was in a great rhythm. Took all good shots, most part. Still missed a few wide open threes. I wish you got back. But uh, it was a fun night, to say the least. You had 40 points at half. Usually halftime, that's a chance for someone to cool off. How were you able to stay in the zone in the third quarter? What's that, Roz? <laughs> at halftime, you had 40 points. Usually at halftime, people cool off. How were you able to stay hot in the third quarter? Just, uh, not, not getting caught up in having 40, just trying to play every possession like it matters. And um, it did. I mean, we're trying to build great habits. Our assist to turnover ratio tonight was phenomenal. We got to keep that up. So uh, I'm proud of the way we played. And, it's going to be a fun road trip coming up. You had 60 in three quarters. What do you think would have happened if you played in the fourth? What's that? You had 60 in three quarters. What do you think would have happened if you had the chance to play in the fourth? Who knows? Hopefully, hopefully, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Rob. That's a great question. But uh, who knows? All right, thanks. Like, congrats. Appreciate it. This the scene at 3.15 a.m. yesterday morning when the Thunder arrived on their charter flight back. Two Oklahoma City following a deep five loss in Oakland. Over 600 fans showing up. And this, the scene tonight here at Chesapeake Energy Arena. Santa Claus, and of the 18,000 turning out for game six of the Western Conference Final, the defending NBA champion, Golden State Warriors, facing the Oklahoma City Thunder. OKC in front, three games to two, a win for the Thunder, and they're headed to the NBA Finals to take on the Cleveland Cavaliers for the Warriors. It is desperation time. If they can win here tonight, this series will be all needed. At Three and three, and a win in game seven in the Bay Area on Monday night. Golden State would like to go with a fast pace. You get the idea. The only guys who have the green light for quick shots would be Thompson and Curry. And here is Thompson for three. Durant fires one from way downtown. 
Thomas. Thompson got the step, scores. Beautifully done. And Billy Donovan wants the call. Now Ibaka defending on Thompson, who scores. Nice move, he's able to protect it against the taller Serge Ibaka. A three-pointer for Craig Thompson. He's mumbling, he's probably saying, finally. Thompson, yes, another three for Clay Thompson. So they get it back to set it up for Ibaka. Curry with the rebound. Curry on the move. Met by Durant, and he pulls it back. Thompson wide open for three. Clay Thompson shooting them back into it. The Warriors now within four. That's his fourth from downtown. It's four of eight after the slow start. Here is Thompson has been on fire, and he hits again. Clay Thompson, his fifth three-pointer, five of nine from the three-point line, and it is a two-point Oklahoma City lead. Here is Thompson again. Clay Thompson has given the Warriors a one-point lead. Here's Thompson has just checked back in and knocks down a three. Now, will this be the final 12 minutes of the season for the Warriors, who had a magical regular season? Adams. The move on Bogut. Try to go high off glass. Iguodala. Thompson. A rainbow three. Clay Thompson. Iguodala. Had it knocked away. Recovered by Bogut. They get it to Curry. And he fires. Bogut. Keeping it alive for the new possession. Thompson turning and shooting. What a shot by Clay Thompson. He is putting on a tough, difficult three-point shot exhibition. That's all heart and will. He's challenging himself. He doesn't want to go home unless it's to play game seven. There's Westbrook. He lost it. It'll be Golden State ball. Thompson. Off the drive. Clay Thompson. The rant over Iguodala. He's been more selective with his shooting in the second half. And you see what that patience does. It gives him time to get set and knock it down. A long three for Thompson, and that is an NBA record. His 10th three-pointer of the night. It's an NBA playoff record for Clay Thompson. Seven on the shot clock. Durant in trouble of tangling from Barnes and takes the shot. And it's Robertson able to score off the loose ball. Iguodala has tied the game. Westbrook stumbling, lost it. Again, it is Iguodala. Thompson fires for three. Yes! Golden State by three. Westbrook had it knocked off his foot. Golden State's ball. Curry works it down. Five on the 24. Makes a move on Ibaka. Banks it home. Five-point lead for the Warriors. Oh, Curry on the intercept. Curry with the intercept of the inbounds. Curry steals the ball and will head to the line. 8.8 .8 left. Waiters looking to throw in. Can't find anybody. Looks like the rain came from out of bounds, and they turn it over. And Curry just runs it out. And that will do it in one of the shockers in terms of a come from behind effort that we have seen in the playoffs. This heads to a game seven. Golden State coming back from a 3-1 deficit to tie the series at three. 16 times a defending champion has been down three games to one in a best of seven. Only two have been able to come back to win the series. Clay, you told your coach after game five, you don't want to go home. And you may, you definitely didn't want to go home tonight. None of us did, and uh, I was just so proud of everybody, man. We were down almost the whole game, and we never gave up, and just our resiliency paid off in the end. Steph, what was the key to winning those last six minutes when you guys were down? It was about time we had a stretch in this building that uh, you know we imposed our will. And I mean, we got stops. Clay hit some amazing shots. Uh, kept you know our composure. Draymond, huge play on that steal. I mean, we just knew uh, you know if we didn't get it done, we we're going home. So it was a big win.
Well, I know you're a great shooter, and obviously Steph's a great shooter as well, but the shots you were taking tonight, it was like you were barely touching the ball and it was going up. Just describe being in a rhythm like that. I didn't start off the game right, and I knew uh, we're not going to go far if I'm not being aggressive, and it opens up the floor for everybody. So I was just using my teammates, being patient, believe it or not, and just never letting my you know confidence waver because I'm ineffective when I'm not out there hunting my shot. Steph, for the last previous two games, I could barely hear myself thinking how it's pretty quiet in here, and you held up seven fingers. What do you imagine game seven is going to be like now that you've got it back home? Uh, it's going to be fun, I know. I know I said this game was probably the hardest of our lives, but now that we've got this under our belt, um, we can't just assume because we're going home and it's game seven, we can just show up. We have to bring that same energy, same focus, uh, you know, activity that we had tonight and take care of business at home. So we got a, we got a great opportunity. Gentlemen, it's been a great series. Thank you for your time. See you in Oakland. Warriors at both. Warriors in blue uniforms. Bay Bridge in blue on a gold circle with the gold numbers, gold letters on the backside. Bulls in red with black numbers outlined in white, white letters on the backside. We are courtside here at the United Center. A rare occurrence for us, which is always appreciated. And the opening tip controlled by Golden State. Levine off to a tremendous start this year. Comes right off a nasty pick, comes to the middle. Head fake, dribble drive, hangs and fires. It's on the rim, no good. Tipped out by Carter, but right to KD. KD takes it down the near sideline. Bounce to the dribble. Chest pass to Thompson, who pulls up for 14 and buried it. Nice pass by Kevin Durant. On the dribble drive, Hutchinson cut off, feeds the Carter, gets it outside. Holiday, right corner three, buried it. Justin Holiday knocks down a three. Chicago started the year shooting threes very, very well. Clay Thompson now with it, backs up. He'll take a three in the right corner, knocked it down. So Clay Thompson has hit his first two shots, and he's got five of the seven for the Warriors, who lead by four. Curry, mouth guard askew with a high dribble, throws right side to Thompson, quick release, and a splash! Another three for Clay. He's hit his first three shots. You knew it was coming, and the Warriors lead by seven. Raymond waits for Clay. Off a down screen, he's open left side, and buries another three! Timeout Chicago. Warriors lead by 10. The, the slump is over for Clay Thompson, and the whole bench goes out to meet him as he is clearly relieved. Coming out 4 of 4, 11 points, 8.39 to go in the first quarter. Down to Levine, guarded by Curry. Levine goes to work, right hand dribble, steps, middle, hangs in the air, off the rim, no good. Looney has the board, flipped it ahead to Curry down the right sideline. Toss ahead downstairs to Draymond. Draymond reverses far wing, it's Thompson fakes, takes a dribble and buries another three! Clay Thompson has half of the Warrior points and Golden State leads 28 to 13. There's Clay Thompson again, he rains down another mid-range jumper. I'll tell you what, these shooters for Golden State, you cannot come unattached. You've got to stay linked to these guys. This is not like anybody you'll face all year as far as the way they can fill it up from the outside. There's Thompson. Oh, and man. Pours in another one. He's putting on a show. He has 19 here in the first quarter with 2.51 left. This is where you got a KYP. Know your personnel, who you're guarding. He's got himself going, Neil. You've got to pick those guys up full court and not let them come into a comfort zone and just walk into threes because their range is unlimited. He's saying to himself, there you go, Stacey King. There's that slump. You know what? Uh, he can keep the beard now. Yeah, he can keep the beard, boy. I'll tell you, he's boy. wide open again. And there he is again. Wow. One again. That time, Zach got caught coming over the top of the screen instead of locking and trailing. When you got a guy going like him, boy, you can't gamble. He's got 22 to the corner. Clay Thompson got it. Oh, he's still hot. I, I mean, that's as unselfish as you can get. The pass by Green to the corner. Uh, Green had a layup. Archie Diakono. Nope. You, you remember, too, Neil. They played last night. Yeah. And they look fresh. Thompson, top of the key. Oh, wow. Nothing. They just tickled the twine. I tell you what, I, I would put myself and sew myself in his jersey. He would not be able to get any shots off. I would stay on him, and whoever's guarding him, you just be locked in on him. You cannot allow him to keep walking in for shots. He's hot now. There's Thompson, knifing him. Boy, he had a layup. Back out to Green to Thompson. Corner, jumper, corner. Did, did, you, did you see Draymond Green wait and knew exactly where Clay Thompson was going to be? A three-quarter standing ovation for Joe Kim Noah. Ball comes inside, Thompson goes outside, catches and hits a three. Design play right out of the timeout. 
He just can't miss. He can't miss. He's got 34 without a free throw in only 16 minutes. Clay Thompson. Tricks to shoot. Thompson, stop, shot, good. Man, I tell you that what. That time a leaner off balance. I, I, I tell you what, boy. I mean, he has just got it on automatic right now. He's only missed four shots tonight. Thompson rises, scores and again. Is. Clay's got a cut over his head. Yeah, he's got somebody might say, look at that. Scratch or well, he bumped heads with Damon Jones on that dribble handoff. I think he got bit on the head. Looked like he. You can see Damon Jones, look, he bit him on the head. That's the only way you're going to stop Clay Thompson right now. And see, now you'd like to see the Bulls' defense push up the floor a little bit, not allow them to come past half court and run their set. See how much time they've got, 20 seconds to run, only four seconds off the clock. Clay Thompson again see, and good again. If, if you start picking them up now with this lead, you got to pick them up full court a little bit, make them run some clock and not give them many options. Back blocked and picked up by Steph Curry. Took that into a crowd of defenders. Curry shoveled to Thompson, firing. Good he again. said, shut up, Neil. There's no kryptonite here. Yeah, exactly. There's no kryptonite here. Here's the kryptonite. Take that with you. Of, bottom of the basket. Clay Thompson firing, scoring. There's a steal by Green. And then Durant looked ahead at Thompson. They have Curry. Curry screens for Thompson again. He fires again. He's good again. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I mean, they are just deliberately. Wow. Yeah, trying to get him to 50. To get, yes. To get him. 52 points. He's got 52. I I'm mad right now. I'm mad right now if I'm a Bulls player. I'm sorry. You just cannot let that happen. I'm sorry. 113 69. Timeout Bulls back with 453 left in the third. And watch the, them search out Clay Thompson. He knocks it down. And uh, in that frame, you, you couldn't see the reaction from Curry. You'll see it here, maybe, where Curry, every, his teammates were all hands in the air celebrating the make. Clay Thompson, you talking about another record. Clay Thompson just bro broke the record for threes in the game 14. Oh, my goodness. 149 to. 124. The Golden State Warriors come in, score 90 in the first half, and win handily. From Oracle Arena in Oakland, California, it's time for New York Knicks basketball. Presented by Chase as the Knickerbockers visit the Golden State Warriors. Knox tries again. Knox got the adrenaline growing. <laughs> going. He's got to settle down. The coach has to settle him down. Play Thompson for three. Thompson has the league record for threes made and attempted. One game he had 52 points against the Chicago Bulls. This foot just inside the line, so a two-pointer. Thompson launches the three. Draymond Green tip. Second time won't go. Kevon Looney back out Thompson. The quick release puts it in. These guys, one of their weaknesses, offensive rebounding. So now they're hounding and pounding the Knicks on the offensive glass. So the Knicks have to box them out. Durant, Thompson cutting. Knox stays with him. And Clay Thompson off to an excellent start. He's got seven points. And they can do it so quickly. The Knicks in disarray. They need to talk. Oh, they moved the ball so well. Curry inside and Thompson with the lay-in. Both teams vulnerable in the paint now to the back door. Hardaway drives past Looney, goes right at Draymond Green, but can't finish. Green, good intimidation, forcing him to use his left hand. Durant going coast to coast, back to Curry. Corner, Thompson, three-pointer, that's good. Dazzling passing that time, Durant to Curry to Thompson. The shortest three ball, 22 feet away in the corner. Thompson already with 12 points, and we haven't even played seven minutes. Azonia, difficult shot. Thompson defended him well. Here comes Curry. Curry racing up the floor, layup, one goal, to Repco right there on the foul. Should have been a goal tending on Knox that time. He was above the cylinder, the ball was there. Dotson falls down, Thompson gets to the rim. Thompson's 6'7". Creating off the dribble that time. Iguodala sets the screen, Curry, Thompson, open three, got it. They just execute you to death with those passes. Curry lobs it in, Dream on Green. Green back to Thompson. Thompson with a left hand. We featured Thompson at the half. 
He continues to be on a scoring rampage now with 19 points. Green still leads the team in rebounding and assists and steals. Not having a good shooting season as Knox three-pointer misses. Knox now three of eight from the field, but he's 0 for 4 from downtown. Okay, Green creating again for Thompson. Raymond Green with his seventh assist. There's Knox stripped by Clay Thompson. Curry, Thompson. One dribble, pull up two pointer is good. Thompson now with 23. And the Knicks down 13 Thompson, is the largest lead of the game. Thompson also a very good defender, folks. He normally guards the most prolific guard. They're doing a good job now in the GA and the offense. One of the great two way players in the game. Thompson, catch, fires, connects. Play Thompson lighting it up. He's got 26. And the Warriors have blown this one open. Hardaway misses. And then they tighten up their D, Mike. That's the catalyst right now. Is their defense creating offense? Pass gets inside. Thompson again. And David Fisdale needs time. Well, Fisdale said this year he wanted the Knicks to be a strong third quarter team. And one of the reasons is he's watched what Golden State has done in recent years. They carve up teams in the third quarter. And that's what they're doing right now. Knicks down 21. Thompson's jumper. That's good. Thompson with 30. Backdoor play to Thompson. Thompson, 32 points. I'm surprised the Warriors have three of their top players still on the court. Pulverizing the Knicks now. Perry Thompson and Green all still in. Durant is now out. Thompson just adds to his point total. Now 35 for Thompson. That's Thompson again. Knocks down another. Alonzo Trier, see a little frustration on his face. Thompson, 38 points. That's his sixth three-pointer. I'm still surprised at the lineup that the, the that Golden State has on the court with the score. Thompson, for three. Clay Thompson lighting it up. 41 points for Thompson. That's his sixth three-pointer. Obviously, they're going to kidding to give it to Thompson. Curry for three. And just highlight Thompson again. Clay Thompson igniting the crowd here at Oracle Arena. His seventh three pointer. And the crowd in a frenzy with his eruption. He had 14 threes earlier this season to set an NBA record for most threes in a game. He's got 43 points in 34 minutes tonight. And the Warriors will just dribble it out. So the longest road trip of the season ends with a blowout loss to Golden State. And one in five in this six-game, 14-day trip. David Fisdale has become friends with Steve Kerr. Clay Thompson, brilliant. 43 points for Thompson. And a final score, 122 to 95. A lot of University of San Diego guys around, Mike Brown and David Fisdale. Clay, there were some big runs in this game. Was all of that sparked by defensive intensity? Yeah, I think that first half we were lacking a little bit. That, that second half, I think we held 11 points in the quarter. Anytime you get stops, we're going to best we're in transition. Steph had 14 assists. Draymond had 10. KD had 9 in the last game. How selfless is this team? Well, that's what makes us special. That's what makes us champions. And if we want to keep on this quest for the three-peat, it's all about sharing the ball. That's when, that's when uh, basketball is beautiful. That's when we're, we look our best. And, you know, tonight was a testament to that. 43 points for you, seven three-pointers. At the halfway mark of the season, how would you assess where your game's at? I feel great. This is the halfway mark. It's the third for us, so I feel great. And to get this win at Oracle, to end a little skid with the wins at home, what does that mean to you when there's not many of these games left? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And uh, it's just fun to protect home court. Thank you. You look so happy, Clay. I'm happy. I scored 43 points, man. Would you be happy, Carrot? Of course. Yeah. It's nice to see the smile on Clay Thompson's face. The Warriors end that little skid. They play team basketball, and we can break it down on Warriors Post Game Live.
third and final meeting between the Warriors and the Grizz. Only two games left in the regular season. And you want a big matchup? Well, pachyderms that roam the paint. Andrew Bogut, 10 years in the NBA, a true center, matched up against another big man. Marc Gasol, the all-star defensive player of the year. Let the bigs roam at Oracle tonight. Jeff Green opens on Draymond Green. Clay Thompson running the curl perfectly. Clay Thompson on the baseline. Clay Thompson and a beautiful feed from Steph Curry. Just a backdoor cut from the weak side. Clay Thompson is fouled. And so Clay to the line. Great from the baseline. The Warrior backcourt is 7 of 7. Steph and Clay are on fire early together. Clay Thompson. Make it 8 for 8. Vince Carter doesn't elevate at the level he used to, but pretty clever jumper there. Well, he's 38 years old now. 17 years in the lead. Clay Thompson has it stuck on automatic. 5 of 5. Nice back door. Oh, Clay, nice pump fake. Thompson. He goes out, maybe gets fouled. Pump fake. You always say, Jim, let the defender fly by. Hey, Thompson, three. Not going to miss. Seven for seven. And that's why they start cheating out. They get concerned with that. Bogut, a cutting play, Thompson. Eight for eight. He's got 21. Clay Thompson. <laughs> How hot are you? A lefty no-look flip off glass. He did a curry. He pulled a curry on him. Clay Thompson's had 530 free throws this year. All right. Far and away career best. Exactly. I mean, he used to shoot less than one a game. Play again. Clay Thompson's got 26. He's having a Sacramento moment, if you will. He's 10 of 11 in the game. And he got 37 in one quarter against Sacramento. So Clay. 11 in the first, 15 in the second. But look at the minutes he's played. He got 26 points in 14 minutes. Crowd wants to find him again. Here we go! I'm telling you. This is the third quarter of Sacramento once again. Clay, three. Play for three. Unless you're number 11. Steve Kerr shaking his head. He said, I have Steph Curry and I have Clay Thompson. Play with a mid range. Rimming it in. Kalefis just shakes his head. <laughs> I, I got him to hit the rim, but it still bounces in. 26 in the quarter, 37 in the game, 14 of 16. Play to Azili and putting it in. The that dunk came from left field. I mean, he takes off. He is barely inside that paint. Stayed with the play, didn't he? Knew he was going to get fouled. But he held on to the ball here. This is pretty nice. Raymond Green attacking. Clay Thompson, three. Plays 37 in the first half, most in any half. His 37 against Sack, most in any second half. And now 40 in the game, and a 30-point lead. That's why Thompson is grabbed. Steve Curry said that Steph Curry doesn't have to say anything, just the way he plays and what he does. Iguodala leaking out after the Jamichael Green miss. Mark it down, missed corner threes become layups or dunks I every love, time. I just love that kind of fast break. He's killed the dribble. Bates from the baseline. Clay Thompson, 42 points. Had that incredible second quarter. Clay outscored Memphis in the second by himself. So the Warriors come up with the win. Uh, it was an interesting fourth quarter. The 66th win. 
Makes the Warriors only one of 14 teams in NBA history to ever get 66 wins. And that's out of 1,394 teams. They'll pack Oracle 41 times this year. Tonight being the first night. The rivalry with the Lakers renewed once again. The home opener as we head inside. There are strength in numbers and some big numbers dropped to Clay Thompson as the Warriors core is going to stay together. The opening night presented by Mercedes is right now. That little fake pass to Bogut throws the defender and gave him enough space and air to operate right at the iron. Clay Thompson hitting a three. Let's hope they shoot much better from three. The Splash Brothers with four of 17 Wednesday night for three point range in Sacramento. Jordan Hill will keep taking it. I don't think the Warriors mind it. Iguodala should run through for Barnes here. Clay all the way to the rim and Bodies falling everywhere, and Clay Thompson to the line. Jeremy Lin well contested by Steph. And they build on the run. Make it 14 in a row. Clay Thompson is fouled. Thompson in the lane again. Timing. That's all that was. Reading the defense and timing. Hey, Thompson played Kobe well. And Davis sent away by Azili. That's just good D. Play Thompson in on the lane to lay it up and in. That's the way you attack the basket in the open court. We throw this. Two Lakers fell in the backcourt. He can tell it gets the dunk. How did that happen? Kobe's 3 of 12. Clay Thompson to the rim again. He just keeps learning other things. How to finish inside, either side of the hoop, different ways. Jeremy Lin, 0 for 4 from the field. If you drive to the basket, you usually can get what you want against the Lakers. I think we just said that. And Clay just did it again. Clay back door. And Steph found him perfectly. Hey Thompson on Kobe. Draws the foul. And gets to the line. Well, that is something to really behold. Because he's turned the table on Kobe Bryant on this. This is something we would normally see from Kobe Bryant. He comes out to defend, pump fake, gets the contact, and a soft, feathery shot drops. Kobe from Fremont <laughs> nearly banked it in. And he tried to bank it. He did not shoot that at the rim. Clay Thompson three. Yes, sir! Kobe got caught napping. Cross-court pass. Assist to Curry. Clay Thompson three. He's in! But this is one beautiful display of shooting and scoring in this quarter. Play on the mid-range. Oh, how hard is that shot? He's driving, and he stops, and he's not even squared up. And he squares up when he's in the air. Better look to Clay. Well, he got 38 against the Lakers last year. He's got 33 now. Clay Thompson to the line. Hurry, knocking it away. Clay Thompson. The freebie. Well, it's time now for the Solar Company electrifying players voted on by you, the fans. Clay Thompson, 13 of 17, 6 of 7 from the line, 4 of 6 on threes, and 36 points are Solar Company electrifying player of the game. Curry's been great the last two seasons. He's getting better. He, he gives you a different look. Look at this steal by him. He does a little two, two, But offensively, he's just expanding his game. Clay Thompson with a new career high. Who knows it? Hogan, exclamation mark. Let's see if Thompson can get to 40. He got fouled. He's yeah, going he to. have a chance. 
He could get to 41. Second time Steph and Clay have had 30 or more together. That's 40. 40 for Clay. Justin Holiday in. Clay Thompson, man of the night. What a backcourt. Warrior fans are going to get to watch it for years to come. That's exciting. What Kobe Bryant say to you just now? Uh, I don't know. He just, uh, just congrats, and um, that was well-deserved. And, uh, man, B-Russ actually jinxed me because he's like, man, you're locking Kobe up tonight in the first half. I was like, yeah, I'm doing well. And then he decided to hit about, go for about 15 straight points on me. I was like, he still got it. So it's always an amazing feeling playing against him. Uh, grew up watching him, so uh, I always uh, love, love the challenge. You know, in, a, in an interview segment you had with us, we asked you, how do you guard Kobe? And you said, put a hand up and pray. That's not what you did in that first half especially. What were you trying to do against Kobe? Just make it tough on him at every catch and um, try and be in his chest as much as possible. And uh, contest, don't let him get the easy threes and contest every long two. And um, he's one of the greatest of all time, so he's going to make shots. But just can't let him go for, you know, 50 on you. And he's very capable of doing it. When you're on the court with him, do you think of him as your childhood hero, or is he just another guy? I just, no, he, well, he's not just another guy, Kobe Bryant, obviously, but uh, no, I just try to focus and, um, you know, embrace the moment because uh, who knows how much longer we'll be playing, you know. Legend and um, good for him. He's got had an amazing career. Speaking of the moment, 41 points, career high, home opener against your childhood hero, Kobe. I mean, what were your, ex oh, big contract extension. What were your hopes coming into this day? Well, I thought to myself I should have a press conference every game. And then um, and that, uh, I got the nerves out in the first couple minutes. And after that, it was just basketball. And uh, we got in a great offensive flow tonight. And um, Alvin, Al Coach Gentry told us we could leave the league in scoring this year. You know, that's a tall task to do. But I think um, we can do it if we stay focused and we, you know, embrace the defensive side of the ball like we have done in the past. Sellout crowd filing into Oracle to see if the Warriors can make it 12 in a row. Timberwolves in town, brought to you by NBC Sports Bay Area, powered by Xfinity. And the Warriors are powered by the Western Conference Player of the Week. Steph Curry playing his best basketball at exactly the right time. They're doubling Carl Anthony Towns, not to let him get going. That's a smart play, and Clay Thompson had the steal. Towns touched it last. Yeah, you want to make them play in a crowd. I, I was waiting to see if they'd single Carl Anthony Towns, but Jimmy's averaging nearly 30 a game. His last several, you got to be careful. Clay Thompson hitting a three. Keeping an eye on that Memphis San Antonio game, the Warrior magic number is three. Clay Thompson lasering the jumper in. Clay Thompson in his career has averaged over 20 a game against this club. He likes to play Minnesota. David West and Clay working together and flipping it up and in. Weak side cuts. They're so effective. They're simple but effective. Clay will rise and drop it in. And Clark off back iron, followed his own shot. Fresh 24. And Clay barely in his hand and right in the bucket. You simply can't guard him. Wide open Clay Thompson. And there's the three. So you saw the lob to JaVale McGee earlier. That's the other part of that play, which is why it's unguardable. We check in with Roz. The last time out, Coach Kerr told the team, everyone's got a rebound. In fact, at the end, play with the three. At the end Steve Kerr spoke to Draymond Green and showed him the stat sheet. He said, look, they've got 7-0 boards. We've got to get everyone going. And he kind of talked to Draymond to get the team going on the glass. He also showed Draymond that he has one rebound in the game. Oh, well, you know who's going to shoot this last one? No, Curry defers. Good choice. Clay Thompson with 23. Clay has had it stuck on automatic. Oh, man. He has he been good. slowed down. He's got 26. Zaza being strong with the ball there. Warriors on the counterattack. Trying to run it right back. Barnes open corner. Three is good. How about for Barnesy? He's had quite an offensive game tonight. He's 5 of 5, 12 points. You wanted that double-digit lead, partner. There it is. Raymond with a beautiful steal. Barnes setting up Clay. Passed up the three to go to the iron. 
He did a couple things there. He didn't force anything. He handed it back to Clay and set a screen for him. So Clay could either take the three or just drive all the way. Rubio, not the shooter. And he's yet to make a three tonight. He's 0 for 6. Well, Clay keeps you. He's, he's got 30. He can, he can do anything he wants. He's 10 of 17. 30 for Clay. They're blowing this game open. 11 0 run. Clay from Fremont. And dropped it in. On the Oracle logo outside the hash mark. A barrage of threes tonight. He's got 33. Clay Thompson flipping it up and in and drawing the foul. And a couple more pump fakes tonight, Jim. Very nicely done. Ian likes to work with. Oh, nicely done. A little tic tac toe. And David West in the middle. He's got six assists. Clay Thompson is 10th 40 point game of his career. 41 right now. Steve Kerr said Draymond Green and Iguodala would not play tomorrow night. So, he will be down oh. several players. And David West, they found the reward to him as the roller after his six assists. And the Warriors beat Minnesota 121-107. The Timberwolves will be heard from before it's all said and done. Curry dominated the third, didn't have to play the fourth. 12 in a row and on to Phoenix final road game. Greg, what more can you say about Stephen Clay? A light week at home with only two games, but the Knickerbockers only visit to Oracle. Warriors trying to build on that incredible game in Sacramento. All the shooting pyrotechnics featured in our Metro by T-Mobile unlimited performance. Yeah, the most threes and best shooting half ever. And the Kings had a franchise record, but the Warriors won it behind Curry's 20 fourth quarter points. Knox for three, and shot it long and strong. Clay Thompson! So Clay Thompson, who had that six for 31 spell on threes, is 14 for his last 24. Yeah, he's come out of it. Hardaway Jr. already has his point total from last night. And Moutier is jumping in as well. Clay Thompson rimming it out. Draymond and Looney fighting. Clay on the reload. It drops in the three. Keep moving without the ball. Cornette. When you think of seven threes in a game, there's only a few seven footers that have ever done that. Clay early offense. Beautifully done. I, I love that Clay knew a defender might be coming, so he just caught a quick shot it to lay it in. Well, Bob, they've got eight assists already, right? And so you can see that's the, the message they've been given. Move the ball, don't settle for the first shot. Hardaway Jr. misfiring there. Draymond made him change it. AD waiting for the trailer. Clay out of the corner. How pretty was that? You can't defend all of that. There's no way. You're looking at Durant, you stand and watch a little bit, and all of a sudden he throws it back, and it's Curry Thompson. That's a quick hitter. This is nice. Beautifully done. Raymond, what a delivery, and Clay on the exact same page. Clay, there it is. Up 12, biggest lead. A 13 nothing run. And that's the way to end the half. Play cutting and flipping it up and in. I tell you, Draymond is really distributing the ball from that the block. And Clay is getting better with that left hand. Knocks from deep. Draymond rebound in motion. Speed dribbling to a cutting Clay Thompson. How pretty was that from Draymond Green? I think he loves that more than scoring. Look at that smile. This young man uh, oh, Clay scripted. He got a three on two here. Again, an open look. And Clay Thompson now wanted to mention something about Clay's threes, Jim. Remember when he went six of 31? Yes. And the world was ending? <laughs> what do you think he's done his last 31 threes? Oh, he's 16 of 31. What a shock. Coming back to Norm. This young man, one year at Kentucky. What a great shooter. He averaged 34%. He shot 34% from three. 
He's, he's shooting 36% this year here. 6'9", 215 at 19 years old. Yeah, he, he doesn't know how to play yet. And Clay Thompson, let's make it 17 to 32 since that <clears throat> slump. Hardaway Jr. misfiring. Of course, these guys come in, and I, I would say Knox opened up the doors to Fort Knox. Okay. <laughs> Clay Thompson. Oh, when Clay is shooting like this, I mean, what do you do? The run is 23 to 5, make it 25 to 5. And the Warriors have opened it up. That's a pretty, what I call a pop, a stop and pop jump shot. Six 30 point game of the year for Clay. 51 30 point games in his career. Clay Thompson. Well, the Knicks are overplaying right now, so it, it, you're going to see that opening develop. So what's galling for the change. Warriors is just these wide open threes. And Clay rings the register there. I, I, I don't even know what happened. Clay Thompson hitting the three. So Clay just continues to roll. He's got six threes, 38 in the game. Oh, nice lob, but Trier could not guide it home. How hot is Clay? Here's another one. He gets unconscious. Yeah, he went six of 31. He's six of 15 tonight. Another miss by Burke. Find Clay one more time. Why not? And Curry will miss fire. Kept it alive. Clay in the corner. Oh, we've seen it before. You know what I'm saying? You knew it was him. Is unbelievable sometimes. Are they going to give Curry an assist there? He ran it down. His own rebound. It's his 14th of the night. There we go. On a chilly 52 degree night in Southern California from Staples Center in LA, we welcome you to Game Three of our Martin Luther King Day Triple Header. The defending champs, the Golden State Warriors, facing. The Los Angeles Lakers. So much made of DeMarcus Cousins' addition to this team. I think his biggest asset is Thompson. Knocks one down. On this team, let's remember last year, averaged about 27, of course, 12 rebounds, but five assists. Out to Curry for three. Rebound Cousins. Ball knocked out of his hands, picked up by Thompson, and he hits the three. Rebound. Offensive rebound and a pass. It's not just the scoring of Cousins, it's getting extra possessions. Here's Thompson from the angle, yes. Tell you what, Golden State, Cousins did not execute on the pick down. He's still learning plays. He was supposed to go get Curry, but that's how good they are. They can keep making shots even when the offense breaks up. Nice pass to the wide open Clay Thompson. Now let's think about that. When Cousins is in that position, you really have to guard him. So those cuts are going to be there even more. And for Ingram, it's another man, by the way, that was 6'9 and played point guard. I think his name was Irvin something. I don't know. One of the greatest ever. Thompson with a fade. Yes. That's good defense by Kuzma. If you're Kuzma, you just pat him on the butt and say, OK, good D. I mean, good offense. Let me see if I can stop you next time. Now here's Thompson from the other side. And he hits the three. three. Stevenson is tied up. What a play by, by Clay Thompson. Okay, Bob, I see him. Thompson hits the three. Thompson to the crossover. Livingston able to bank it home. Beasley tried to whip it outside, but broken up by Iguodala. Thompson, pass deflected, recovered by Cousins, and he scores. DeMarcus Cousins in his second game as a Warrior, seven points, three assists. And he's doing it efficiently and playing within the system, and that's what you want for any player that comes to the Warriors to play within their system. Nice pass, and Thompson lays it home. Zubat's career high, 26, 12 of 14 from the field, 12 rebounds against Oklahoma City last week. Durant dives for it. Warriors come up with it, and here's Thompson. It was Durant on the floor, then Green at center court on the floor. Thompson fires and hits. Here's Thompson, the three. Oh, he is on fire. Clay Thompson, who grew up in this area. In fact, his dad, Michael, is the color commentator. 
for the Lakers and a terrific NBA player. Kyle Kuzma was a number one first round pick of the Nets. They dealt him to the Lakers on draft night. The trade was Kuzma and Brook Lopez. Once again, Clay Thompson. The trade for Kuzma involved D'Angelo Russell, who is having a tremendous season for the Nets. Thompson again. And Timothy Mosgo. This is teamwork. I mean, when you look at it, look, Curry wants Thompson to score. This is the unselfish play. From three, yes! Clay Thompson is seven for seven from downtown. Ingram wide open. Hope should have shot that. He was behind the three-point line. Here's Thompson open for three. Yes! An incredible performance from Clay Thompson. We've seen it before. Curry lost the handle on that pass. And picked up by Greeno, flips it ahead. Thompson gave up a three for Curry with the one bounce. And then gets the ball. A three-pointer for Steph Curry, who is indicating it's about time. Marv, you and Chris have talked a lot tonight about the Lakers' short staff. So an injury update here. Fortunately, Rajon Rondo is nearing return. He's been cleared for full contact. He played five on five yesterday. He wanted to play tonight, but the Lakers staff decided to wait until at least Thursday to make him available, just allowing him some more time to practice and to condition. Now, on the other hand, there's still no date set for LeBron James' return. All right, thank you, Christian. And Thompson again! He is 10 for 10 from three-point range <laughs> and 7 for 7 in the quarter. Zubac stripped from behind by Looney. A sellout crowd will pack it in on a Wednesday night as the perfect homestand continues, ready to acknowledge and embrace one of their favorite warriors. It is Draymond Green bobblehead night, and everybody loves Draymond. Defense, offense, toughness, the heartbeat will be on display as the Warriors look to make it 13 in a row at Oracle. Frank Vogel knows defense. It is a real quality coach. As you mentioned, Jim, you start losing a Paul George and a Stevenson. It's hard to resettle and find ways to score. Pick over the middle of 2011. A Thompson from O'Brien. As the interim head coach in three years, he's won 62 and a half percent of the games. Curry made up for it. He got the steal. Clay will get the bucket. Steph is second in the NBA in steals. Clay Thompson lasers in the jumper. He comes at you and he just springs up. It is a perfect. Jump shot. I mean, it's picture perfect. Clay in traffic. He had it knocked away, so he was able to regain and shoot. He took both hands off it momentarily. Not, not for long and not for much, but it worked. Steph's got his third steal. Clay Thompson in on Scola. He got the blocking foul. Good call by Derek Stafford there. He's credit a guy like C.J. Watson. He's playing the D League, play overseas, make a career. And Clay Thompson rails a three. Thompson. Well, after being down 11, the Warriors within four. Clay reloads and drops in the three. Curry with his eighth assist. Draymond knocking it away. Clay ripping it down with the right hand. Nice beginning to the third quarter. Clay Thompson blocking the boy Allen. Steph setting up Clay again. The three. Frank Vogel's got to stop it. Indiana hung with the Warriors in the first half. Second half's got a whole different feel. Don't be fooled when Curry goes hard like that. Yes, he was thinking about driving to the hoop. No, he was just setting up. Clay Thompson is rolling here in the third. Clay Thompson doesn't miss. That's the bogus screen. That's the difference. Final possession of the third. Clay Thompson hitting the three. Thompson, by the way, number three. He had a 15-point quarter. He's got 18 in the second half now. Yeah, that was a reminder of how well Bogut and David Lee work. Oh, Bogut, what a delivery. And Clay Thompson is fouled. 
Here's that play again. This time he hands it off. Clay Thompson down the lane, flipping it up and in. He's holding Indiana right now. 35 for Clay. And Indiana takes time. Iguodala, what a steal. Running with Clay. Somehow got it to him. And he was fouled. Miles, air ball runner. Guess who's got it? Bogan. Clay Thompson. How about 40? Curry, 14th assist. Most up step, but Clay was there to double. Beautiful steal. What a play. Thompson pushing, small space running, laying it up and in. You just play your game. Shot clock at three. No spades to beat the buzzer, and he does. Two men jump to Thompson coming off that screen. He just takes a little further and deeper. And Spates rolls to the open spot. Clay Thompson, a 40-point night. Six of 11 on threes. Six of six from the line. One off his career high, the Solar Company. Electrifying player of the game, Clay Thompson. Oracle buzzing after the Spates spike. 15-point win, win number 28. Home straight continues on Draymond Green bobblehead night. Play. 40 points tonight, basket got big in the second half. What were you able to take advantage of? Uh, they're going under a lot of screens, and uh, I was getting a ton of open looks, and I missed a few, but I knew they were going to go down, you know, eventually. And um, I got a couple easy buckets in the rim as, as a result of Bogus passing, and, you know, Andre's cutting, D. Lee's passing, so, you know, it was a total effort for me to get those looks tonight. You, know, you mentioned the open looks. You got a lot of good screens from your bigs and passing. How do you guys work together, you and the post? Well, they know where I like the ball at, and um, they know where my hot spots are at, which tonight was pretty much anywhere, so uh, I, I thank them all the time for the, getting me open, you know, and I try to reward them with that pocket pass as much as possible. Awesome. And, and maybe a muffin basket or some cookies in their locker? What's that? Maybe some cookies in their locker? Maybe. Try to watch my diet though, but I can take some chocolate chip. All right, so this team was, they never went away. Uh, you had a slow start. What was crucial in pulling this out? That's a team that really prides themselves in their defense. And they you know they're so good in the inside and they're methodical with their approach. So for us, we try to speed as much as possible. And we got a lot of good looks on the break in the second half, and that's why we broke it open. Steph Curry hit his 1,003 tonight, and the crowd went MVP, MVP. What's most valuable to you about Steph Curry? Oh, man, what, he just does everything for us. You know, he's so good at finding us. He uh, attracts so much attention on the offensive end, and his defense is really underrated. He's always in the passing lane, squeezing easy buckets. So he's our MVP, and he should be. I know he'll be in consideration at the end of the year. It's surreal. Yeah, it really is. Um, you know, first year coaching. Um, I knew our team was going to be good because they, they were already good, but I didn't anticipate uh, 34 and 6. I didn't anticipate coaching the All-Star game in February. It's bizarre, but it's really exciting. It is exciting for Steve Kerr. He'll have his point guard, Steph Curry. Back-to-back All-Star starts more votes than any player in the NBA. And it keeps going. The best team in basketball, a sellout crowd at Oracle, brought to you by Mercedes with the Kings in town on a Friday night. Third meeting for these two teams. Opening night in Sacramento wasn't a pretty game. Warriors won. And then December 22nd took care of them here in Oracle Arena. Look at they forgot about play. That's what I'm talking about. Overplaying, a little too aggressive to use pump fakes, and all of a sudden Clay's patience paid off there. Logan sets those screens, and you call it the dark side of the moon. Clay Thompson and Steph have benefited from the big man. He also sensed, because he communicates with his players, that Sean was a little down. Something was a little off. Right. And he just said, hey, you know, take a couple games here. Let's get you right. And Livingston's come back and played extraordinarily well. And Barbosa got 23 and a half minutes in one game and 18 something in the other. Keeps everybody happy. Clay has hit both his threes. 11 nothing Warrior run. This kid is so athletic. Clay to Matt McLemore at the top. Cousins missing. Back around, Clay Thompson. DeMarcus Cousins made a great move there. And it just rolls off the rim. Nothing going right there, but everything going right for the Warriors. Clay is 40 free throws away from already surpassing his career high in a season. 
and we're midway through this year. Oh, Clay Thompson upended, and he'll shoot two. And Cousins, good overplay and steal. Cousins handling Clay Thompson. Locking sessions. Vincent Miller comes out and you know just young men do not understand the value of staying in college and getting stronger, learning. You would have made more money in a pro. Yep. And if you could do that. Andrew Bogut with the left hand. I like the way he's posting up tonight. They're looking for him. He feels very comfortable. Well, they're winning the fast break battle 10 to 8. It's impressive. Except Bogut is right at the rim. Remember I said, how do you counter physical presence, defense, overextending? Well, you maintain the ball there. You're going to get backdoor cuts. A big double team, make them pay the price there. You turn their strength into a weakness, and they did just there. Clay Thompson. Now with 15. A little more under control there. Clay, great defense. Read the passing lane, comes up with a steal. Clay Thompson sets his feet. Ending the three point drought. Eric Williams, three. And Steph with the rebound in motion. Clay Thompson, triple. Yes, sir. They can be streaky. And streaky good. One more out of the corner. Tough rebound, Derek Williams. Bogut blocking. Andrew Bogut with a D. Two on one. Lob. Oh! Right handed hammer. Clay's got that kind of elevation. You kind of hold your, hold your breath so they start that lob. Nice. Clay Thompson three. Oh, he's feeling it. Yes, he Absolutely is. feeling it. Clay Thompson, 13 in the quarter, 26 in the game. Five for five, including three threes. Oh, that's a deep one. He shot for the Piedmont. Oh, man. That's a 28 footer. Ray McCallum. Tyrone Corbin says, see 11? Go out and, and somehow stay with that guy. Yeah, he's trying to deny Clay the ball. Barely in his hands and right in the bucket. Seven of ten on threes, 32 in the game, 19 in the quarter. He's unconscious. Warriors trying to force feed the hot hand. No one's hotter than Clay, and he gets it to Draymond Green. Clay Thompson's doing everything. He'll do all the scoring. Then you want to focus the defense. Oh, he can pass the ball too. And Clay. Another three. Callum with Steph hanging on it. Frame on the rebound. String together stops. Keep adding to the lead. Keep finding Clay Thompson to the rim again. A 24 point quarter. Uh, I'm not sure if he's an all star, Jim. I'm going to really have to think about it. <laughs> Another steal. Curry's going to find him. Clay three. Yes, sir. his career high in threes. One point off his career best. But a 27-point quarter. To me, that's more remarkable. Collison missing. Get it to Clay Thompson again. Crowd standing. Clay driving again. Good! Oh, you're kidding me! A new career high. 29 in the third, 42 in the game. He's outscored the Kings 29-19 in this quarter. Collison can't finish. McCallum the rebound. David Lee. The Kings have 19. Clay has 29. Get it to him again. He's got it. His three. <laughs> have you ever seen anything like it? Beside themselves. Are you kidding me? They pop him again. Play again is three. Oh, no. 48, 35 in the quarter. 
Clay's got it. Weaving through the Kings, and he's fouled. And that will be a free throw. That won't count. <laughs> he can't miss. I've never seen a shooting display like this. Well, if you're wondering what the NBA record is for most points in a quarter, you just watched it. George Gervin at 33 and a quarter. And Clay Thompson has 50 and 37 in a quarter. Clay Thompson, I'm going to repeat that, 37 in a quarter. Well, Clay Thompson to the line, and here he comes. Fifty-two in thirty-two minutes, an NBA record thirty-seven in a quarter, eleven for fifteen on threes, and it was Clay Thompson's night. Fifty-two points, thirty seconds, thirty-seven in the third. You literally did not miss. How did that hot sh start? I got real good couple looks early, and then um, I made about four in a row. And uh, as a scorer, you know, a lot of tell anybody in this league, no matter what, they get the ball, they're shooting it. And that's what I felt like. We were up about 10, 12 points. And uh, I was just, every time I touched it, I was going to shoot it. And I, lucky, lucky me, I, I rattled off about six in a row. Did you did you feel the defense? No, that's why I was open. You know, I, I, honestly, I don't think it mattered that much tonight. I was just really focused, and I was hitting some tough ones. And uh, I was in a great flow. I knew I was due for a big half because in the first half I said so many good looks I just barely missed. And uh, man, it's, uh, even I'm shocked. That was crazy. 37 points is an NBA record in a quarter. Do you imagine shooting nights like this? No. Uh, I can't believe I own an NBA record. It's uh, God is good and I'm so blessed to be here and just healthy. And uh, hopefully it stands for a long time. But. Um, yeah, it was crazy. I don't really know what happened. What about tonight? Well, uh, the record, obviously, that yeah, feels great, but um, just the zone I was in, never shot like that. And um, it, yeah, that's, that's about it. Thanks, Clay. Congrats. Thank you. Raymond Green bringing us in to Indiana in really one of the most enjoyable buildings in the league, other than Oracle. This may be my favorite. It's built in that field house style. The sight lines are terrific. It's packed tonight. And an old friend ready to roll in Monte Ellis with Paul George, George Hill, Rodney Stuckey, and a Pacer squad that has not lost at home since Halloween. Monte Ellis, very tough runner. Bogut, good tip rebound to himself. And he knows he's got to mix it up inside. They got his attention. That is a good three. Those, are, tops it. those are the threes that you want. No one's on you. Not, not forced. Catch and shoot. Your percentage goes way up. George can't finish there. Clay Thompson has lasered a couple threes. Monte to the running Mahimi. Points off turnovers. And nobody back on defense. Indiana had a three on one. Monte smartly made it a two on one, made the right pass. And then a breakdown, they allow the Warriors to score on an easy one. Clay Thompson is foul shooting that three. Went right to Kogan. Warriors fortunate. Kogan again. What a rebound. He batted it out a couple times. Clay Thompson hits the three. And you're right. He's torched this team the last couple of games, and that is in his brain. Clay Thompson, nice step around. Clay's rolling with 14. Oh, he just owned that play. Clay Thompson three. 40 point quarter for the Dubs. The bit celebrating. Festus off the Clay Thompson feed. 22 point lead got down to 16. Now they've got it back up to 20. Clay Thompson three. Clay with 20. Clay Thompson, what a three! Over Paul George. Well, you go for a steal as Paul George did. You come up empty-handed, and the great players make you pay for it. Clay did. Paul George has Steph. Clay Thompson, another triple. Oh my! Oh my! So 
Clay Thompson, seven threes in the half. Curry took the bump, didn't get a call. And George Hill headed the other way. Yep, it's going to benefit Steph. Bogut diving to the floor. Clay Thompson again! Oh, you want to talk about feeding the hot hand? Clay Curry said, yeah, I've got one. Oh, you know what? He's going to make his for sure. 29 in the first half. 8 of 10 on threes. 9 of 11 from the field. Clay Thompson, as Miles went for the steal. and How about that? Another assist. Thompson passes it up. Paul George losing the handle. Outlet to Clay. Got around Monte. It was goaltended anyway. Clay Thompson's got 31. Corner three. And Brandon Rush yeah, dropping good. it down. Favorite spot there in the corner. No one around him. He's going to shoot that with some confidence. Clay Thompson, another three. When you have that dribble live in your hand and you go down, you're a threat to go to the basket. And it freezes your defender and he just goes right up. Paul George misfiring. I, I, I'm, so, I'm such a believer in triple threat position when you can. And why would they lay off Clay? All right, I'll tell you what's happening here. Clay's got 10 threes, Jim. If he plays long enough, yes. he's going to break the record for threes in a game. Clay <laughs> Thompson turning and firing it in for 39. 13 of 17, 10 of 13 on threes, 39 in 27 minutes. He is redefining the game and how threes are taken and made. The lob to Sealy, perfectly thrown by Clay. Jim, and they're jumping at Clay Thompson at the three point line. I wonder why. Exactly. And that will do it. So 23 and 0 and 27 in a row. Tying the second longest streak in NBA history, equaling the Miami Heat. And welcome everyone to NBA Wednesday and the Golden State Warriors performing in front of the 145th consecutive sellout crowd here. Tonight taking on the Phoenix Suns. This is home to the most dynastic, electrifying show in sports right now. And you're looking at the orchestrator, the leading scorer in the league right now, Steph Curry. And Clay Thompson mark off to a good start with a driving layup. A little nervous cheer here at Oracle Arena. And Bledsoe getting up into Curry, comes up with a steal. And Brandon Knight going to cash at the other end. And the Suns leading by five. Thompson open for three, make it a two-point game. Can they out Golden State? Golden State? The difference is they've got to use wisdom. That's another heck of a move by Teletovich. They've got to use wisdom. So when the opportunity presents itself, push the basketball, look to make plays. If the Warriors go on one of those Warriors run, runs, Thompson knocks down the shot, then you got to force them to defend. Use wisdom. Get the feeling that he finally has the, the type of guys in his backcourt in Bledsoe and Knight two playmaking guards, two scoring type guards at the same time. So oh, he's got a backcourt that can match up against any backcourt in the business. If you don't have Curry and Thompson, and even, even if you do it, Thompson with another move. Those guys averaging 22 and 20 points per night. They can score with the best of them. Knight behind the three-point line off the mark this time. Livingston, the hit ahead pass to Thompson. Got it. That's what we're talking about discipline. If you're Eric Bledsoe, stay at home with Clay Thompson. It's P.J. Tucker's responsibility to stop the basket. Tucker not known as a three-point shooter off the mark. Bledsoe saved it to the wrong guy. Here's Curry. Thompson off the great dime from Curry. And in a blink, the crowd comes alive. Nice feed underneath and on cue, Green off the dime from Thompson. Well, we've seen this around the league, I mean, around professional sports, when a team displays excellent time and time again. Sometimes you take it for granted. Good point. You can sit back and just wait, oh, oh um, they'll put together a run, you get spoiled. Night averaging a little over 20 points per game, put in a lot of work over the summer. I had a chance to watch him down in Miami where he has a home, where he's from. Turned that one over, though, as Clay Thompson comes up with a steal in the finish. Another poor decision. That's a four and two fast break. Clay Thompson not surrendering a basket. Active hands. Comes up with a steal and does the rest. Bogut off the nice feed from Green. It was all thumbs, couldn't make the catch. Rush over to Mr. Wide Open. Clay Thompson with another three. 
and he's got 23. Thompson, butter. Another three. You know, we can rave about offense, and that's that's good offense, but that's horrible defense. You come in understanding what you have to do to win ball games. That's a couple of passes and a throw ahead to a knockdown shooter. That's inexcusable, and Jeff Hornacek calls the young fella Booker to be inserted into the game. Here's Thompson speaking of porous defense. Knight with the miss. And off to the races again. Curry from Thompson. It wasn't pretty, but it still counts. Curry looking at his hand as if it was his hand that betrayed him. <laughs> Has Santa decided which team he's going to play for on Christmas? It, it looked like he was going to sign with OKC when I heard him tell, tell KD that he's the real Santa Claus. <laughs> Great promos, by the way. Thompson. Tell you what. Santa's going to have a lot of gifts for him if he keeps balling out like that. Thompson with 14 in this quarter. Curry back to Thompson off the screen. And it's all good here in the East Bay. I'm not sure that was a shot, but that's usually what happens. Things just seem to bounce their way on offense, Mark. Whistle on the foul is going to go against Booker. You know the score is the Phoenix Suns 62 and Curry and Thompson 61. That kind of puts things in perspective, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and it's about to go up. They've taken the lead. Drake sitting here courtside. It's not going up on a Tuesday. It's going up on a Wednesday, but excuse me for the lyrical misconduct. Clay Thompson with a season high 40. And the meter is still running, folks. Thompson hit him with the rhythm. Forty-three points for Clay Thompson. Twenty-seven this quarter. It's the 29th consecutive home regular season win for the Warriors. Oracle Arena, a bastion of perfection over the last 29 games for the Warriors. They win this one. 128 to 103 in a quote unquote quiet 25 for Steph Curry and allowed 43 for Thompson. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, Root Sports proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the NBA champion Golden State Warriors. Thompson got it. Now, that's the guy you got to worry about tonight. Clay Thompson, yeah, he's the guy they're going to go to tonight. They're going to force feeding, and if he gets hot, he's dangerous. Raymond Green to Thompson again. A little fall away over Dwight now, boy. Yeah, he's that such is a, a tough He's such shot. a good shooter. You got to get on him, and when you get on him, he'll go right by you. Clay Thompson, wide open. See, you don't want him. You got to, you got to really focus on him because he's hot. Well, that was a monster pick by Bogan. James got hung up on the pick. Nice pass inside to Thompson. See you can't and give him those types of opportunities. And of course, uh, as the playoffs went on last year, he got eliminated from the starting lineup. They needed a little quicker lineup, and Iguodala ended up being the MVP yeah. of the finals. Because of that. Yeah. Show you how deep they are. Warriors on a 12-2 run. Well, you know, Clay Thompson's the catch and shoot guy. You got to make him a driver. And Thompson with a little turnaround. That's a hard oh, shot. He 180. Just made. A 180 jump shot. But it's a mid range jumper. It doesn't take that much strength. There's Clay Thompson again, just as easy as can be. That's Wide open. Off the pin down. Four great pick. for six. They said great picks to Warriors. Thompson with a miss. Thompson with a miss again. Thompson gets the ball back. Thompson throws it up and hits it. Another 180 from the baseline. Rockets up by two, and there's a layup. Clay Thompson. All right, Thompson with the basketball. Well, so far in this early part of the season, I know you're a little disappointed with the way the team is going, but they look like they're the way those layups right there. Right there that, yeah. that we give up too many of those layups. 100%. Yeah. Back outside to Thornton. Thornton tries to answer. Just off the iron, won't go. And Clark will bring it up. Leslie, we know this is the giving season. You've always been a big philanthropist and huge in the Houston community. You want, looking for some money, Clark? No. <laughs> well, we can talk after the break. <laughs> that's, that's 
Thompson fires up a three. You know he's going to shoot it. you got to make him put it on the floor. Thompson puts it up and in. Six straight points for the Golden State Warriors. Read his stats all night long. And Clay Thompson with 38 points. Clay Thompson with a beautiful game tonight. 38 points, seven rebounds, and some great defense. So again, the Rockets score 110 points, which is more than enough to win, but they give up 114. The youthful upstarts, the five seeds, Portland Trailblazers, and the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors. Start round two of the playoffs with game one of the Western semifinals for these teams here at Oracle Arena. Beautiful day in the Bay Area. The A's are playing across the parking lot of the Coliseum inside Oracle. This series gets started as Golden State saw San Antonio impressively demolish Oklahoma City in game one of their series last night. That one loss, the eye-popping one the day after the All-Star break, a huge 32-point win for Portland. And Steve Kerr said that was good because our guys have Portland's attention right from the jump. Clay Thompson breaks the seal with a three. Well, watching both of these teams, they are big in the three ball. You have the first team and the fourth team in the league in attempts. It's going to be interesting to watch the matchups because with Steph Curry, obviously your backcourt matchups are natural. Damian Lillard's going to see a lot of Clay Thompson in this series, and Clay, such a good defender, will give him fits. Oh, look at this guy. And he gives you fits on the other end as well. A pair of threes for Thompson. Well, this is what we're going to see. The quick three-point shot at both ends in, tra in transition and after a score. Thompson feeling it. Oh, boy. Clay Thompson, eight of the Warrior ten. Nice. I think matchup early on. It's Draymond Green guarding Plumlee. Thompson pulls up at the line. And beautiful cut to get free. And the feed from Green. Timeout, Portland. Barnes a three. Bogan at position on Plumley. Look at the passing. Gorgeous. Three inside, 16. In the playoffs, the second best offensive rebounding team in the league is Portland. Well, at the other end of the floor, Portland is going to have difficulty in this series keeping Golden State off of that board. One thing, their big scorer, Lillard, did not have a good field goal percentage series in that last series. Taken down low by Thompson, who wants the repost. That's what you do. Go right back in. Always one that you feel like you're not comfortable, kick it out, and then repost, return pass. Excellent move. Wow. Play Thompson. What a start. Six of eight from the field, dominating the game. He has 14 of the 25. Couple of seconds difference. Game and shot clock into the quarter. Play. Again. Okay. He's got a, all the little junk stuff in his game. His toughness, the physical nature. He even admitted this week, look, guys don't like it. It's fine. I'm, I'm good with that role. So good. First field goal of the quarter for Clay Thompson, who was 7 of 10 in that first quarter. Gains the release in front of the rim on Lillard. Then leads the break. Thompson, yeah. extra pass bar. There it is. Timeout, Portland. Iguodala knocked that away. Aminu able to clean it up. 5.8. Plenty of time. Green the home run pass. Thompson. Clay. Oh, pretty move. What a move. Two uh, seconds left time for the Blazers. Yeah, he, he created the space with a nice move. Turn and toss. Oh, Thompson. Oh, a three. McCollum was right there. Just a half step. Monty McCutcheon wants to look at that. Make sure it was a three. Uh, I got you know, pretty much full range of motion back. It's still painful. Uh, but for the most part, I can get on my feet and start to do uh, basketball activities that uh, will get me back ready to get it, to play off atmosphere. To Barrage Alley, Andrew Barbosa, Andre Iguodala off that bench are in to support Green and Thompson. And Draymond Green now one assist away from a triple double. Clay Thompson has 30 points. Barrage Alley knocks down the short corner. Barbosa was tangled with Brian Roberts, who has checked in for Portland. Think about Lillard. He's had bad first three quarters and great fourth quarters. Different animal deal with oh, these guys. Oh. Thompson on the drive. Davis with the foul. Now that's tough to do with a guy on your back. Now just watch how he lays out here. Davis gave the screen there. McCollum missed it. 
but Davis got the offensive board to keep the trip alive, and Lillard passed the length of Thompson took that away. How many times today, especially in the first quarter, have we seen that? The deflection, the deflection. You think a guy's open, you make the pass, boop, up, oh, all of a sudden there, they're going the other way. The length, the long, the reach of the, the arm is amazing because not only do they do it with their feet, but they take up space with their arm. Oh, beautiful behind the back passes. Thompson drew the attention, left it for Bogut, and now all five Golden State starters are in double figures. Well, what you like about it is Thompson has five assists, Livingston has six. Well, they played great defense throughout the last four losses, and unfortunately, but give Portland a lot of credit. They played terrific. Way Thompson, 37. And that'll wrap it up. Big game from Thompson and Bree. And game one to the champs. Well, the champs are in town. Time Warner Cable Sportsnet is proud to present Lakers basketball this evening. It's the Golden State Warriors and your Lakers. And we'll show Luke Walt in a matter of moments. Obviously, Steve Kerr is the head coach. Uh, he will be up in Portland and Sacramento. Won't be coaching, but he's going to make the second part of this trip. But uh, Luke still the interim head coach as Clay Thompson, who had 30 last night, knocks it down, Stu. He's been great the last six weeks. That one is blocked by Thompson, who's an underrated defender. And Jordan Clarkson, we talked about his good game the other night. As Draymond Green fires it up, that's going to be long. Rebound on the weak side to Bogut. Down the middle goes Rush, and he lays it up and in. As Hibbert was there at the rim, couldn't defend. And again, when you've got five guys that offensively can get it done and the ball moves the way it does with the Warriors, it just spreads your defense out, makes it hard to be in help situations. Clay Thompson, reverse layup is good. Andrew Bogut, former number one pick in the entire draft. He'll play about 21, 22 minutes tonight, probably. Thompson, free throw line, got it again. So a hot start for Thompson, just like his dad. That's the best comparison, the athleticism of them. And Thompson once again. Lou Williams from the outside, hit six the other night. Rush has the rebound. I'm surprised the Lakers didn't try to run a quick play. I see there's a wide open uh, play, Thompson. In transition, you can't match up with your man. You have to talk and match up with whoever is closest, and the Lakers didn't do that very well that time. He's averaged Clay 31 and a half over the last three. It's about three and a half threes per game. Williams again, dips in, comes out. Draymond Green goes and chases it down. Seven triple doubles total on the year. Thompson on its way again. He's got 15 points in seven minutes. Thompson, step back, that time over Anthony Brown. Doesn't matter who's guarding him or where he is on the floor. Red well, hot. Again, but make him a facilitator. That time they had a chance to get the ball out of his hands and they chose to let him come off the screen and paid the price. Thompson again, rainbow from the outside. He's got 20 in nine minutes. With his father, of course, in attendance. Clay Thompson has 22. 22 points in 11 minutes on an eight. Make it nine for 11 or nine for 14 as they uh, move the stat board on me. As Thompson gets fouled by Lou Williams and Clay will shoot the first free throws. How about this for the Golden State Warriors well, tonight? Only the fourth foul on the Lakers. Clay Thompson goes around the pick by Bogan. Boy, that was a nice pick by Bogan. Huh? That freed Clay Thompson. And because Hibbert is the guarding Bogan, he was a little reluctant to come out and and step out on that, trying to wait for Clay Thompson to come to him. Thompson with Brown Rod right on his hip. Draws the contact, count of it goes. It won't go, but he'll shoot free throws. Laker victories have been against the Celtics, the Sixers, and the Suns. To have this three-game winning streak spinning. Not a bad move by Meta. He wasn't even close to finishing, though. Catch and shoot. Best catch and shoot player in the whole league does it again, Thompson. This here's a steal by Ian Clark. Feeds it up ahead for Thompson. He knows where he is. Right behind the line. And down it goes. Byron's just looking for anything uh, out of any, any of the groups that they can build on it. This kind of dribble penetration isn't something that you can build on. Now tonight belonged to Clay Thompson. 36 points. Draymond Green's triple-double streak ends. Lakers' Jordan Clarkson drops 23. But the Lakers shot only 31 
25%. Trailblazers finished the most difficult travel month, December, and even though now they're in a homestand, they are running the gauntlet of talented Western Conference teams. Memphis, the Clips, now the world champs, OKC on deck. We are inside the Moto Center once again tonight, the first of four regular season battles with the Golden State Warriors. Golden State on the season right now stands an insane 33 and two. Thompson on an easy inbounds pass, and the Warriors have an eight-point lead right out of the shoot. Lazer's still looking for a field goal. Lillard gets his own miss. Off the mark again. Portland 0 for 8 to start the game, playing with fire against the world champs. Wide open is Brandon Rush in the corner for three. And I said he shoots 43%, so sometimes you forget about him with all the other guys that have the firepower. Can't forget about Rush. Boy, and that's difficult. I mean, that sounds easy, but yes, that's something you have to guard against. It was Myers, Myers Leonard in off the bench, misses. That one pops out, and once again, Portland getting high percentage looks for them, but as you fall into a hole, as yeah. you said, perhaps you start to squeeze the air out of the ball a little bit and perhaps aim it, and Golden State building a huge lead. Switch. Crab ends up giving Thompson too much room. And Clay Thompson, who had 22 in the first quarter of their last game, yeah. hits again here. He's got eight in the first quarter, 17 combined with Curry, backcourt against backcourt. Now you know, oh, oh they're going to take off now. They've got the lead. Oh. Thompson, and that's like no hesitation there. Thompson too open again. No, you've got to fight through that. Crab knows it. That's tough, though. I mean, oh, again, it's that's what they do to everybody. Yeah, look for two for one at 33 seconds. Lillard, nice oh. move to get open. Couldn't hit it and spades the rebound. Another high percentage look. That's Lillard's shot. That floater in the middle, mid-range. Thompson for three. Oh, Lord. As he had Myers closing, but... Thompson, 17 first quarter points. As wow. I mentioned a moment ago, he had 22 in the first quarter on Tuesday. Millard bumped by Livingston. Pretty good defense. Dane flips it in. Shot clock is off. Seven seconds for the Warriors. Here comes Thompson. Thompson still with it. One second. Fades. Got it again. When these guys get it stuck on automatic, look out. They play no post. They never post up down low. They keep their guys out, out on the foul line, and everyone cuts off of them. Goaltending called on Gerald Henderson. They lobbed to Bogut. Good pass by Thompson. And Andrew Bogut guides it in. A nice drop by Thompson. Under a minute left first half. Harkless holds at the elbow against Thompson. Puts it on the floor, put it up and off. Raymond Green in January is averaging nine and a half defensive rebounds a game. Thompson hits again. Good ball movement. Curry, the unselfish look. Thompson with 24 first half points. Thompson hits out of the timeout. Oftentimes all it'll take is a, a little burst by one of those guys. And a good timeout by Luke Walt Thompson. Clean look at the three. Hits it. See, and they came down to set up Thompson. They know he had 19 in the first quarter. Let's get him the ball. That's what the timeout was all about. Thompson, no help on the right side, and he does get the lay-in down. Pat Connaughton with some minutes for the Trailblazers. Oh, yeah. Good outside shooter. Turns the corner. Tried to look for Lillard coming behind him at the turnover as it's picked up by Rush. You've seen Pat really in only one other situation that wasn't, you know, a late game situation. Is Clay Thompson had trouble with the catch, finally got it and scored. He's got 34. Thompson to the rim is foul. You know, we were talking about a couple of times tonight, drafts over the years, and how well Neil O'Shea has drafted for Portland and Bob Myers for. Golden State is that's a three in the corner. Warriors get the win. They improve to 34 and 2 so far in the regular season. 17 and 2 on the road. And of course, they have not lost a home game. They are 17 and 0 at home. Welcome to NBA Wednesday, presented by State Farm. From Oakland, California, and Oracle Arena, where the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors shoot for their 40th consecutive regular season home win as they welcome the Dallas Mavericks. They struggled against good teams, though. They have, as uh, Clay Thompson gets to the bucket, it's 5-2 Golden State. Matthews lost it off his foot. Here's Curry ahead to Barnes. 
feeds a cutting Thompson. And Thompson foul. Now, what's most impressive to me about this team, and I'm going to go back to Monday night because that was, uh, I felt like I was walk, watching a doctor in surgery because they got anything they wanted against the best defensive team in the league. Thompson from Green. That's a great pass by Draymond Green. See, that's what makes it so difficult. Clay Thompson, one of the best three-point shooters in the game, and already we've seen him back cut two times. We saw it all Monday night. You have to respect his ability at the three-point line, and a back cut gets you a great pass, Draymond Green. Felt no rebounded by Bogut. How about Clay Thompson, too, as a defender? Leads all guards in block shots. And he hits a three. Well, you knew he'd break that streak at some point. And he has nine of the 15 for the Warriors. Here's Thompson looking at another three. And Clay Thompson with 12 of the 18 Golden State points. I'll have to give you credit, Dave Pash. You said, I expect Clay Thompson to come out firing. Made note, didn't make a three in the last ball game. Just 11 points in that San Antonio game. And sure enough, here he is, four for four. Thompson driving on Evans. And Evans got a piece of that. And then a foul is called on Dallas. Evans can't flip it in. Looney with a rebound. Looney spent one year at UCLA from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Barbosa spinning. Can't finish. Barnes collects. Thompson, another try. This time it's on the money. And a timeout by Dallas. Now offensive rebounds lead to wide open threes. Clay Thompson tries another three. Hits again. Four three pointers. 22 points in the first half for Thompson. 10 in the quarter as Thompson is able to score again, giving him 24 points now. Here's Thompson to the bucket again. 26, almost half of Golden State's total. He scored the last 14 Warrior points. Well, you want to go small and play the Warriors? What happens? No shot blocking at the rim, and they take full advantage. And Clay Thompson to the rim. He's fouled, so two quick fouls on Dallas here in the quarter. Good spin move there, Wesley Matthews. Couldn't finish, though. Thompson looking to run. Waits for Curry, who fires. Rainbow three. <laughs> Timeout, Max. Well, how about the five non-guards who have averaged seven-plus assists? Other than Draymond Green, if he's to do it as Darren Williams. Can't get that three to go. LeBron James. Larry Bird. Clay Thompson three. Play for three. John Havlicek, Will Chamberlain, and Grant Hill. 33 points now. Thompson was a starter last year, but he was an injury fill-in for Kobe Bryant. Shot clock at seven for the Warriors. Thompson on the turnaround, and it drops. 35 for Clay Thompson. Right after the All-Star break, a little strange schedule. They open up at Portland right after the break. And then play the next night as Clay gets another three to go off the inbounds pass. And that's 40 points now for Thompson. 12 of 18 shooting, 6 of 11 from three. Thompson fires and hits again. 43 now for Clay, a 7 3. Clay Thompson with 45 points, a season high. He's got 14 baskets on 20 shots. Golden State 127, Dallas 107. The New York Knicks are presented by Jays, and we welcome you on a Sunday night to Madison Square Garden in New York. The New York Knicks against the number one team in the NBA, the Golden State Warriors at 43 and 4. Sloppy pass from both teams. Thomas throws it away. Curry fakes. Curry drives. Throws it up. Bogut manages to hold on. Barnes tries a three. And Harrison Barnes makes it 7 0. And Derek Fisher wants to talk to his team. Clay Thompson's jump shot. Nice soft touch from Thompson. Thompson can get up. You know that. Thompson catch and shoot. Warriors have come back to tie it. Thompson fakes, drives, goes inside. And a foul. Man, we mentioned the foolishness of these guys. They show you the ball, guys leaving their feet. That time D will the culprit. Right now it's Thompson. Looking to get going. There he is again on the curl. Thompson catch and shoot. Yeah, that's a, we talk about Curry's quick release. Thompson has such a quick release. Bring it inside to Thompson. And the Knicks caught. Watching the ball, not their man. That's that perpetual motion. 
And the versatility of Green, why he leads the team in addition with seven assists. Warriors all of a sudden, now they've made nine shots in a row, and they're shooting 57% from the field. Thompson gets away. Thompson shot is good. Three-pointer. 15 points here in the second quarter for Thompson. For Zing is the culprit, man. He's got to step up. He's falling back. And Joseph Lam, a true American hero, not only for what he did with Afghanistan, but a 15-year NYPD veteran, so he put his life on the line for 15 years going to work every single day, and then three different deployments in Afghanistan and Iraq. Bad pass for Porzingis, stolen by Curry. Back out Thompson. Thompson sets himself and hits a three. And that's what they do to you, is the largest lead. Eric Fisher, very upset, calls timeout. It's quite a story. The second-year player is now one of the best players in the NBA. If it wasn't for Curry's year, Green would be in the conversation for, for MVP, but Curry just playing so out of his mind as Thompson knocks down the shot. The lead is up to 13 as Thompson gets inside. And Thompson gets it to go. Thompson just hangs on to that pivot foot. Finds Iguodala. Short jumper from Andre Iguodala. Lead back up to 13. Thompson. Catch and shoot. That's good. Now we talk so much about Curry. This this guy's shooting ability is fantastic. Thompson goes back. Quick release. Again. Play Thompson putting up a shooting exhibition. And the lead is up to 16. He's got 26. Pass inside. And Thompson left-handed lays it in. You know it's Don oh, Nelson who brought in the point forward. And that's all Green is, Mike. He's a point forward. Only played San Antonio once as we have coming up the Foxwoods final five. Foxwoods the wonder of it all. And the wonder of the shooting for Clay Thompson. 34 points. What a week he's had. 45 Wednesday. And then just yesterday, he had 32. Golden State showing why they are on a historic run this season. Yeah, they're undefeated at home. Well, the next Find out how far they have to go against this special team as Golden State wins their seventh in a row and are now 44 and 4 on the season. On this big game Wednesday night in Miami, the Heat do go giant hunting against the NBA's defending champion and best team still. The Warriors are 50 and 5 on a record setting pace. The Heat rebounding from adversity with some of their best basketball this season. Warriors beat the Heat in Oakland by eight in mid-January. We certainly hope you enjoy every bounce and basket at tonight's game right along with us. You'll find many players as skilled and as conscientious in his work habits. That's what's gotten them to the top shelf of the NBA. Second quarter's underway with a Clay Thompson jumper. Miami's ahead by nine. Thompson with the open look. They don't call them the Splash Brothers for nothing, gang. Long rebound comes out to Curry. Clay Thompson all the way in for the score. And the white side never got back they, they, the way they pushed it up the floor. Good defense by Russ. Yeah, he got a piece of that, I believe. Green with another in-traffic rebound, and Curry got it back. Finds Rush for three. Excellent rebound by Barnes, out maneuvering Dang. He did. That led to three points. Clay that, Thompson tripling. It's one of those situations we talked about. Offensive rebounds can lead to the three. Nice play by Thompson. He parked the shot blocker right under the rim where Whiteside got muted. Whiteside thought he was going on a reverse. He came back on the same side. Thompson over oh, Whiteside. Boy. Wow. 16 for Clay Thompson. Thompson. Nice work by Clay Thompson. It never went too fast, stayed under control. And the shot fake inside. This was Thompson. And that's a triple. Uh, that's amazing you know, how he gets open. He just, they, they work the ball around and then two or three, four passes, five passes into the sequence, they get the guy open off the screen. This is Thompson from the corner, and that's good. Oh my. Clay Thompson, eight points here in the fourth quarter. This is Thompson over Whiteside. My goodness. Thompson with a 10-point fourth quarter and a 26-point nine. They set up the last two plays for him when they were down four. Thompson got it to drop. A 12-point fourth quarter for Clay Thompson. He's got the last seven points, I believe. Thompson. Again, Mav, that's 10 in a row, I believe. Right? He has the last 15 points oh for Golden State. <laughs> that's incredible. He would have steal. 118 to 112. Dang for three. And the ball game's over. Yeah, a great night of NBA basketball. The Warriors 
continue their historic pace. They go to 51 and 5. Oracle is the place to be on a Friday night with Portland in town, taking on the Warriors, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. You want point guard play? Damian Lillard, the hometown hero, matching up against the MVP, Stephen Curry. 50-point Bombardiers, Steph has done it three times this year. Damian's done it twice. There'll be points of plenty tonight. Clay Thompson, no one's that three. Yeah. Clay Thompson, another three. Well, took that little step back to make sure behind the line. Sometimes the Warriors are a little too anxious to switch, in my estimation. Clay Thompson, have yourself a three-point quarter. Three threes down for Clay. Nine of the Warriors, 13. Clay, another three. Well, the last two games, the prettiest passing, a lot has involved Andre Iguodala. He is the middleman on those great finishes. Clay Thompson, drop it down. Raymond with the block, Harrison with the rebound. Curry and Clay, and both of them were hot. You're in trouble. Clay Thompson three. What a great move there. We're talking about moving the ball, but moving people. No, I, I think the league, this would be the year for it, Jim. You can have an honorary all-star appearance down the road. You know, is that if a coach is, say, like if a Kevin Garnett or somebody was going to retire like Kobe, don't, don't take it away from a Damian Lillard lost a lot of money by not being on the all-star team. Very good. Good point. And Clay Thompson hits the three. If you're wondering, the NBA season high for a half is the Kings. They had 83 against Phoenix in the second half of the game. Well, the Warriors had 79 in Indiana, December the 8th. According to Raymond. Clay Thompson, make it 79. Column, tough finish. And a better steal. C.J. McCollum still playing hard. Steph and Clay. You make one little mistake defensively, and the Warriors jump on it tonight. There's the post up. Draymond on a point guard. Miller had no chance of stopping him. And Clay hitting another three. Just a little fortuitous bounce after him. He said, Well, I'll take advantage of it. Look at his three point shooting tonight. Well, Clay has eight of ten. Eight of ten. Clay. It's finally fly by. 30 for Clay Thompson. Clay rising. He's, he's so undaunted by what his defender does. His defender can be right on top of him, but he has supreme confidence that he can get that shot off. He just blocks the defender out of his mind. 37 for Clay Thompson. There's I won't get the assist, but he set a heck of a screen. Yes, he did. I love players like that. You get a game closer oh, to start talking about 72 and 10. 58 and 6. No team has ever been 58 and 6. And they took care of the Blazers. They really did it in the first half. 128-112 the final. They led by as many as 32. Portland never had a lead. The game was never tied. A dominant Warrior performance. And for Portland and Damian Lillard, Oracle still continues to be a problem. On this Friday night in Dallas, Texas, I can promise you this, the building is buzzing tonight. Rick Carlisle said it's like when the Rolling Stones come to town. Pursuing history, the 61 and 6 Golden State Warriors are here to take on the Mavericks. Here's Clay Thompson sauntering down the lane. Well, that's what makes him so effective, Mark. You know, you're looking for his jump shot. But he has an uncanny ability to put it on the deck, get to the rim, and finish with his size. Thompson for three from Steph Curry. That's four splashes tonight, two by each. Anderson is the defender here on Clay Thompson. Thompson, a two-time All-Star, and a long three. Wow. If you're defending him, you better be up in it. Yep. Anderson from the corner. Going after the rebound, one bounce dribble, Harrison pull up. Three 
chances. They still haven't scored. Four chances. Now they go. No. <laughs> oh, David Lee shot. Dancing all on that round. I mean, that effort, tremendous. <laughs> Unfortunately, it goes unrewarded. Here's a loose ball. There's more good effort. Spades go back to it. Dancing Flint. Livingston back to play. Thompson. Timeout. Play Thompson for three. By the way, you're talking about Barajal helping Golden State. He's carved out a small role so far. Yeah. 12 games, nine minutes a game, three and a half points, two and a half rebounds a night. As Thompson makes another three points. Better includes guarding that three point line. He's six out of seven on threes and seven of eight from the floor in the game. You see, people think you're, you're exaggerating when you talk about how good these guys are. That's not the case. As Green knocks down a three, and then you, you throw him in the mix as a three point yeah. shooter. And, you know, there's just no beating this Warrior team. Clay Thompson with a long two-point try that goes in, answering Williams' two free throws. J.J., the Mavericks' second leading fourth quarter scorer, just knocked down a three, but Clay Thompson answers with the two off the pull-up. Here's Verichow. If you're just tuning in, Andrew Bogut not playing in the second half for Golden State with a toe injury. Chandler Parsons not playing since early in the third quarter for the Mavs with a hamstring injury. Clay Thompson with that size again. Here's J.J. Barea all the way to the glass to score. A little tough by J.J. So good in the open court. There's just a fraction of a seam. He's going to split it. Oh, Clay Thompson with his seventh three of the game. He's got 30 points. A trip. Down goes Matthews. He's still down. Thompson with a three. Bounce pass back to Barnes. Oh. Long three, Thompson. I would be kidding. His feet were set when Harrison Barnes had the ball. Yep. I mean, there's just not a lot you can do about guys shooting the ball from that far out on the perimeter. Even though they play tomorrow night in San Antonio, starters are still out there. So Clay Thompson has made it 22 threes for the Warriors as a team. And by the way, he's tied the Mavs opponent record. He and Steph Curry now have games of 10 three-pointers made against the Mavs. Warriors 130, Mavericks 112. Clay Thompson had 39. 17 of them in the fourth quarter. Steph Curry right at his average of 31 points. The leading scorer in the league goes into play tonight averaging 30.5. And for the Mavs, a big set of games looming with the Trailblazers. They've got to see these guys a week from tonight out in Oakland. Sold out Oracle on a Friday night. The chase for history continues. And we say hi to an old friend tonight. Now the Laker game shows you that you cannot overlook any opponent in the NBA is Derek Stafford, Rodney Montcarl Lane blowing the whistles, and Clay Thompson right on cue. Rhea, just the presence of Bogut changed that. Got numbers here, and Clay's got a shot. That's a warm up three. He doesn't miss those. Clay Thompson, and there it is a new season high for Clay on threes at 240 and rolling. They tops it with a finger roll. So free throws coming for Clay. They lead the league in off-screen plays. That's cutting from the weak side, generating 11.6% of their offense. Those are the analytics we have to deal with nowadays. We don't, so have, we don't, we don't have to deal with them. Yeah. Well, sure, you hear it. Don't take an open shot from the right wing when you're 18.6 inches away from the rim when you shoot 1.8% less. Throw it out. Clay Thompson hitting for the baseline. Uh, those are actual numbers that I read, and it's just hard to yeah. just assume avoid, all of that. Avoid the irrelevant one. David Lee sent away by Bogut. Well, they got the ball, but they got a lot of David on that one. Clay Thompson three. They've got David Lee able to get around him, and Clay Thompson to the line. Let's see Matthews strong for a guard, and made Draymond work for it. Harrison Barnes able to track it down. Clay Thompson three, yes sir! That's the loose ball they're talking about. And Draymond blocked David Lee. Thought he gets each other a lot in practice. Clay Thompson, what a catch, better finish! What a talent. And the wave up, big rebound. And Barbosa batted it over to Clay. Clay Thompson, dropping in the three. 
Well, he said before the game he can't shoot the same distance as Stephen Curry, but he's approaching it on that one. Clay Thompson three. Yeah, he's the great equalizer. Villanueva answers. He can pour in points, but so can this young man. Play again. Draw the foul. With, with Harrison, too. Just say, yeah, play defense, rebound, do things. The good things will happen. Right. It'll all come back together. Keep it keep, keep it simple. Clay Thompson is having another fourth quarter scoring pinch. 12 already in the fourth. 37 for the game. Draymond to Clay. Three. Good! And the Warriors now move to 65 and 7 make it 52 wins in a row at home no team has ever been 65 and 7 and all the streaks continue a special Sunday start time at a sold-out Oracle with the 76ers in town and the Warriors trying to play up to their championship standard. Easter Sunday and kids in the building. A great vibe, a great feel getting ready for basketball. So hoopy Easter to everyone. Will Smith, how about this? He got 14 rebounds last night in the loss to Portland with longest 17 points. And Clay Thompson should have a field day shooting over either of those two starting guards. Clay Thompson. Following his own shot, play inside the lane in and draw the block. Marshall, 13th pick in the draft, and kind of spoon fed Harrison a lot as a freshman at North Carolina as Clay Thompson hits the jumper. Marshall's had quite a few journeys in his short stint in the NBA. That's a little high. Clay will track it down, save the turnover. Just hides behind Spates and buries a three. Clay Thompson rising and hitting. Jim, I wanted to tell people that coming up after our next time out, the Warriors film sessions are very interesting and oftentimes include a lot of humor and also some jokes at the expense of different players and coaches and sometimes even our broadcast. Yes. Okay, you're going to like this one as Clay Thompson goes inside. Clay Thompson! That is so nice. Smooth. Oh, oh, beautiful cut by Clay Thompson, and Draymond was patient. Clay for three. As I said in the start, he, he can shoot over Is Smith any time. He can shoot over Cannon any time he wants. Clay, you identified in the first quarter, Jim. The, the Sixer guards are too small. Oh, get a little runner. Draymond saved it. Clay Thompson three. Way McConnell, you see that effort. Clock at seven. Clay Thompson, lasers that in. Clay, good close up. He knows who Landry is, he knew he was going to shoot that. And he was on the shooting hand side, perfectly done. That bothered him more than Bogut coming out with the height. Clay can shoot right over McConnell. He does just that. Every time I see that move, I think of Indiana last year. Yeah, the game winner? Yep. Play is fouled. Ish Smith step back three. And Draymond the rebound, and Steph had the good close out there. That's a very, very big possession. And Clay trying to put it away. Especially when you come back. So now it goes to 16. 40, 32, 37 for Clay, the last three. Clay, again. The young man is amazing. Now this time it wasn't over Stauskas. Stauskas got the ball after it went through the net and was shaking his head already. He's seen that guy before. So the Warriors, 53 in a row at home. That continues the longest home winning streak in professional sports history.
66 and 7. Never been done in NBA history. Final road trip of the year finds the Warriors in the Valley of the Sun on the back end of a back to back fourth and final meeting with the Phoenix Suns brought to you by Mercedes Benz. A lot of Warrior fans in the building and they don't want to see a three game losing streak. It's only happened twice in the Steve Kerr era and the Warriors want to finish this last week on a winning note. Raymond's got Eulis on a switch. And he becomes the feeder. Good pass to better pass. Quinn had the shot. Clay was more wide open. Well, Clay came down late, circled around on the left side underneath. They didn't wait. He was really open on the right side before they threw it to Draymond. And Clay is off to a nice beginning. His stroke looks good. He made two of his first three. You'll run through Durant and Draymond, but you'll need scoring from Clay. Quinn Cook just has to keep doing what he's doing. 13 straight games and double figures. Clay Thompson's in one of those modes, Jim. You, you can just sense it. Yep. The stroke looks so good. He's got seven quick. Clay Thompson fading and firing it in. How hot is Clay Thompson? That hot. Five of six. He's got 11. See how calm he was. He came around there, a little pump fake, got his defender up in the air, and just steps inside that and wide open again. Clay oh, Thompson, six of seven. He didn't worry about whether he was open or not. He just was going to have a little daylight. And he was going to launch it. The thing Steve said it is, you know, hey, what would you have done without Quinn Cook? He said, I, I, I have no idea <laughs> what we would have done. Uh, it's, a, it's an absolutely terrific story. And he's legitimate. It's not just that he's helping a little bit. Jim, Clay Thompson, seven of eight right now. And he's in, he's in that mode. Oh my goodness. Clay Thompson again. Boy, is he getting that up in the air. And his confidence, it's it couldn't be any higher right now. Huh? Highest scoring quarter of the season for Clay. He's got 19. Ender puts it on the deck this time. How about that? That is a nice move. I tell you right now, he fooled him up front. And then he beat Draymond to the basket. He was the fourth pick in 2016. Out of Bosnia Herzegovina. Clay Thompson again. They Nine of 11 him. for 22. If I'm them, I'm going to start playing on top of the screen so they can't get it to him. Clay Thompson. Hey, Jim, that was because I was sitting over here, too. Clay made that shot. That was just because I'm over here. <laughs> Clay somehow got that to David. He returns the favor. And Clay Thompson buries the jumper. Oklahoma City had spanked the Warriors a couple times yep. this year. It was a good message. Yeah, Warriors want to make sure, hey, by the way, we, get, we can still beat you. Nick Young setting up Clay again. Good move by Nick Young there. Realizing the hot hand and trying to refeed there. Bender for three. And Clay has really started to rebound much better in recent weeks. They keep asking him to do more. And right now, he's got the reload with 32. <laughs> well, it's, it's brought to you by Art. <laughs> Clay Thompson on the feed from David West. Ernie, we have a beautiful night in New Orleans on the final night of the NBA regular season with the Warriors in town with seeding implications and relying on veterans in game number 82. While the Pelicans have benefited from a mid-season trade that makes them dangerous on any night, the Golden State Warriors are currently the third seed in the Western Conference. The New Orleans Pelicans are in the play-in tournament. They'll have to win two consecutive play-in games to get into the playoffs. Here comes Golden State, a shot by Clay Thompson. It's a three. He is coming off of two games of over 30 points. Thompson, 15-footer. It'll creep in. We'll drop it into Draymond. Raymond Green looking to score. And you highlighted it the last couple games. When he's a threat, the Warriors are just better. Clay Thompson, a 15-footer again, hits it. So he now has seven to lead the Warriors. Clay with a three. The number one great screen there by Kevon Looney. That's why Clay was so wide open. What a start here for Thompson. Four of six, ten points. Pull from deep, and he hits the three. So talk about the confidence for Steve Kerr. Let me run a screen and a, a pin down and get you a three. <laughs> Moody, what a, what a pass inside to Looney. Moody to Looney. And so far, Golden State an incredibly efficient. Seven made field goals on seven assists. Bealy to the cutting. Payton inside. Gary Payton off the bench having a career year. 
And he comes up, the versatile defender, with a nice offensive play. Raymond Green, what a nice shot outside. 12 points and 13 boards with eight assists last night in San Antonio. Nice feet inside, another two. And Gary Payton gets it. And Golden State is on an 8-0 run. Good bounce pass. Cutting is Thompson. Puts it through. Clay Thompson's got 12 for Golden State. On Toscano Anderson, speaking of getting to the line, he went right to the lane and laid it up and in. He was a little more decisive with his attack that time. <laughs> he is fun to watch. Clay Thompson has wow. got the stroke. He is 6 of 9. Yeah, that's vintage Clay right there. A couple dribbles, a little spin back. You can tell when a shooter's found his rhythm by his arc. A three from Clay Thompson puts it up and through. My goodness, is he shooting well. 17 tonight for Golden State already. Three, Kaminga. Got it! And that's one part of his game that he's really need to work on. The biggest lead here now by the Warriors in this first half. Clay may need a screen out top. Two men jump out of Bielitsa to beat the buzzer and arced it in perfectly. Connor Anderson flips it outside, ends up to Kaminga. Takes it in! Oh. Rocking the rim with a clear <laughs> runway! Oh, wow! Are you kidding me? Boy, did he float long. This young man has some serious jets. Kaminga yes. down the lane! Oh. The back scratcher! He just destroyed Snell's pride. And Snell had no choice, he had to jump. <laughs> Kaminga just went to another level. Reverses up and through, and Kaminga there again. He is playing his way into that playoff rotation. Pool three, book it. Unselfish play there, too, by Bielitsa. Nice shot by Pool. Anderson free to fire. Toscano Anderson buries the three. And it was Kaminga with the hockey assist, right? His yep. dribble penetration started all of it. And Damian Lee hits a triple. And the three-point barrage continues for Golden State. Nine is 17 from distance. Nice pass inside. And then Jordan Poole saved the day. And Brooklyn-Cleveland game, by the way, will precede our Clipper-Minnesota game on Tuesday on TNT. Another three. Wow. And 20 from Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson. Alvarado will defend. He'll peel off him with the fadeaway, which will not drop. And a tap in by Lee. Alertly hitting the rack and tapping it through. Shot clock at two. Pool! Oh! oh! Are you kidding me, Mr. Pool? Pretty play. Scoops it home. Well, we Foul. saw the pass earlier, but how about this? Wow. With the left hand. Temple picks it up. Just gets it up on the rim and watch the English as the ball spins around for a second. Oh, that's beautiful. Here comes Poole right into Hayes and gets it to go. Looney with a little up and under as he tried the reverse and got it to drop. Three is good. Put up and through Pool with the stroke, and he's got 17 for the game. Thompson puts up a three. Got it. Clay Thompson has got 24 and five three. Good range shot. Will not go. Raymond Green. Three on three. Pool a triple. Good. Gets it to go. Pool is connecting here in the second half. He's got 20. Oh man. Wow mismatch and just goes to work. Pool darts right down the lane for the deuce. Pretty play right there. And he's got 22. Clay Thompson spinning and putting it up and tapped up and in by Peyton. Come in, oh boy. His good, game right? just evolves. He's now four of six. He's got 10 points. Oh, good corkscrew move. Kaminga puts it up and through. Kevin, nothing beats just absolute raw talent. Thompson, a spinning shot, which goes through. He is a magician. He's got 28 for Golden State. Into a wide open. Peyton could find Kaminga. Wow, what a throw. Inside to the cutting guard, Peyton. The cutting Thompson. Right to the rack with the reverse. Pretty play, and he's got 30. Clark driving through traffic. Picked up by Lee aggressively. Another good rebound by him. Under eight to go. 
fighting as Thompson fouled as he was trying to work his way through traffic. Ray Thompson, he's got 33. Oh, make it 35. Wow. Make it 35. What a shooting display. He got another one by Bielicia. Three, Clay Thompson right between the eyes. He's got 38. <laughs> Wow. Boy, there is a pep to his step. And that's a long oh. shot. It's good again. Oh, he's got the stroke. He is a flamethrower. Clay Thompson has the last 13 points for Golden State. He's put in 41. A drive by Lee and no one home in the lane. They let him go right through. Kneeling inside is Lee. That's a nice shot. That's a two. Kaminga. Oh, what a pass. Oh, for right for Toscano Anderson. But he leads up. Taps it up and through. In the corner, Kaminga. Got the three. My goodness, that kid has just done a marvelous job with his game in his rookie year. Reg, 15 points, 18 last night against the Spurs. He continues to impress. Lee, right down the lane and darting for two. Moses Moody, three. So the number three seed, Golden State, cannot face Phoenix until the conference finals. Kaminga again. Give him 18 and get him another three. Assistant coach Willie Green under Steve Kerr and Jaron Collins, who is under Steve for a couple of those championship years in the Bay Area. Golden State finishes the regular season 53 and 29 and on the road 22 and 19. Time now for the Milwaukee Bucks and the Golden State Warriors are NBA Saturday prime time on ABC. Pretty nice view of the Bay Area. Hope you've got a good view for tonight's game between two of the NBA's best. Curry down the near sideline. Pressured by Holiday who defends him well. Nice. Wiggins touch pass. Avon Looney goes inside. Bank shot. Rolls around and drops in. Pool to Looney, back to Pool, drives on Portis, beats him like a drum, no good but a foul. Portis pushing Pool on the way there, and Pool will go to the line to shoot two. Wiggins jump shot. As a Petacupo slip lost it, there was some contact. Thompson drives, nice feed to Pool, lays it up and in. That's a really nice play by Thompson. Pool, long distance three. Jordan Poole continues his tremendous streak. It's at a group out blocked by Looney. Terrific defensive play from Looney. Looney, nice backdoor play and Curry the layup. That is outstanding move by Steph Curry without the basketball. Curry fires away, connects on a three. His first three-pointer, second field goal. Elites is going to drive to the basket again. Oh, and a follow by Kaminga off the glass. Clay Thompson missed his first three, but now's that elbow jumper. Thompson. Soft touch there from Clay Thompson. Wiggins cuts back door. Laps on defense in Milwaukee. An easy bucket to tie the game. Pool on the drive. Left-handed throws it up with him. Pool with nine points. Warriors with the ball. Attacking the basket to our left. Thompson catch and shoot right side. Three ball for Clay Thompson. Fading to his right. The elite to the Thompson. Thompson shoots over. Giannis up and good. Another three. Back-to-back -back triples for Clay. And we're tied yet again. Thompson now has ten points. It's our sixth tie of the first half. Wiggins on the follow. Or a misses, Poole deflects it, picks it up. Poole looking to push. Poole to Thompson, Thompson tries again. Puts it in. Clay Thompson on fire all of a sudden. Timeout Milwaukee. Three consecutive three-pointers. And Golden State up by three. Thompson to Kaminga. Kaminga finds the angle. Allen goes to the basket. Block. Kaminga right there with the help defense. Here comes Poole. 
Thompson finds Bielitsa, alley up to Kaminga, comes down with it, now shoots over Tedekumpo. Bielitsa tips it right to Thompson. Another three. Blake Thompson lighting it up here in the second quarter. And he's been smiling to himself, running back in transition. Little oops, look what I found. Pull drives and finishes. Thompson against Carter. Carter, a good young defender. Foul line jumper, got it. Oh, Clay Thompson feeling it. Kaminga spins, Ooh. almost lost it, spins again, spins again, takes it down the middle, drives on onto Kupo, goes up, block, got it back, layup, good. <laughs> Not be, how Steve Kerr drew it up, but hey. To be young. <laughs> yes, to be young. Middleton bumps into Wiggins. Tough turnaround, baseline jumpers, good. Tough shot from Wiggins. He's in double figures. Lead back up to 11. Poole launches and hits. Poole with 14 points here in the first half. Lead back up to nine. Wiggins on a three. Eight three-pointer for Golden State. Back up double figures. Wiggins has 13. Clay Thompson catch and shoot three. They lost him in the corner right in front of their own bench. And Mike Budenholzer can't believe it. It's 65-55. Clay with a 17-point second quarter. Blocked by Thompson. Picked up by Poole. Warriors with the ball going left to right on your radio down. Looney gets it to Jordan Poole. A behind-the-screen three opens the second half scoring. Poole tries another three. Wiggins the rebound. Back up and in. Wiggins with 15 aggressive points. Wiggins near side the basket to our right. Toss up top to Looney, over to Curry in the corner. Poole, he's wide open, and the three ball left corner pocket for Jordan Poole. And again, now six straight games, 20 or more for Poole. The Warriors lead by 17. Poole going to try again. Puts it in, Jordan Poole now with 25, and they've blown it open. It's a 20-point lead. Poole, a little floater, throws it up and in. 27 for Jordan Poole. Thompson. Knocks it down, Clay Thompson red hot. Curry doubles, back out Wiggins, wide open look. Wiggins nails a three. That's his second three-pointer, the team's 13th. Thompson kicks it out, good look, Wiggins again. Andrew Wiggins has 21. Three Warriors with 20 or more, and this is the largest lead of the game. Thompson for three, Clay Thompson, his sixth three-pointer. Middleton turns, shoots. Won't go. Kaminga tips it, trying to save it, and he does. The athleticism of this kid is phenomenal. Thompson looking for an opening. Makes his drive. Finds Kaminga. Wide open on the baseline and gets it to go. Kaminga, another double-figure game. Back out to Curry. Curry, nice feet inside. Bielitsa throws it in. Curry with his sixth assist. Holiday drive stripped by Curry in the steal. Cross court, Thompson, catch, fires, connects, play Thompson from downtown. The Elitza drives and finishes. After Milwaukee had cut a 21 point lead to 12, it's back up to 19. It's a bounce pass to Clay Thompson. Thompson posts up Carter, shoots right over the top of him. That's the confident Clay Thompson right there. Turning left shoulder for a quick two to make it 105 84. Thompson fakes, drives, falling away, puts it up, puts it in. 33 for Clay Thompson. That matches his season high, and it's back up to 20. Poole goes back door, whips a pass to Wiggins up top. Thompson, another three. Bang! Clay Thompson pouring it on. He's got 35. Middleton gets in. A lot of contact blocked by Wiggins. And then Middleton fouls. He was frustrated as Clay Thompson pumps his fist. All the work over the two and a half years to come back from two devastating injuries. It's night like this that he's thought about quite a bit over the last two and a half years. Kaminga shot. It's good. Kaminga 12 points and a career high 10 rebounds. Kaminga. Kaminga on the slam. Oh, Jonathan Kaminga. Kaminga attacks the rim and says, say goodnight, Grayson. Big time finish. 14 and 11 for Kaminga. By the way, the foul on Ibaka, not on Tedekumpo. Second team foul. And this kid is just the potential there. And as you said, Jeff, earlier, when you talk to the coaches, it's all about the work. And he is putting in the work. Curry steps back, nails a three. Second three pointer for Curry. And again, only his sixth field goal attempt. Gets a matchup that he likes, takes advantage of 
Serge Ibaka. And how about Draymond and little DJ celebrating? <laughs> What a job he's done, and I don't mean Curry, I mean DJ. And I like this post and Clay Thompson again against a smaller Carter. And Thompson delivers 38 points. Clay Thompson lead back up to 20 with three and a half to play. And here's the ovation for Clay Thompson. <laughs> 38 points in 34 minutes. A season high. They go along with a season high. Eight three pointers. A brilliant performance from Clay Thompson. That's the headline as Golden State wins their third in a row. And some emotion from Thompson. He's been a little frustrated with his shooting recently. But he put on a show here tonight. Eight for 14 from downtown. Not only in 38 points, six rebounds, five assists, a block shot, and respect. From the honest of Teddy Kupal. It is Dubs all day and Warrior basketball during the day. The late matinee and the fourth and final meeting against the Utah Jazz. So much at stake in terms of Western playoff seedings. In and out. Bogdanovich missing. That's a good box out by Clay. Trying to run before Gobert can get back. Wiggins an open three. Loves that left corner. The Warriors are on the board. Mike Conley knocked away Wiggins. Good play. Gobert a turn and fade and pull with the rebound. Wiggins knows the ball handlers are trying to score on this team when they run pick and rolls. See Utah playing quality D, making sure Clay couldn't get it. Now he rises and buries the three. They're just using the fact that Gobert wants to stay around the restricted circle. They run the split action out of the timeout. And Jordan Poole. His first shot of the game is a made three. I love that. Draymond looking for his own offense. Andrew Wiggins has to be assertive. And the floater, you pointed out with Draymond, don't take it to Whiteside, let him block your shot. We saw that in the Utah win over the Warriors in February. Jordan Poole, Jordan following his own shot, making sure he got a little contact and floated it in. Hey, still trying to make it, even if you draw the contact, but I like that he slowed his body down and he pump faked. That's a little tic-tac-toe, oh, but Whiteside had a block. They collapsed on it. You can see Draymond's mindset. He is sprinting into the front court every time. Get to Utah before the defense gets set. These two teams could see each other in round one. That's how deep the West is. Wiggins hit the jumper. Draymond with a wipeout screen. Thomas never stopped running. He had it blocked. GP2 tracking him down. Iguodala and Clay, and no one getting that one. You gotta love that sequence for the Warriors. House was like, I deserve this. I'm going all the way. Wasn't taking no for an answer. Warriors told him no. Reload Clay Thompson. Yes. Those are the shots that Clay Thompson is so good at. Those spot ups after the offensive rebound. Everybody's looking for Clay right now. Bob Fitzgerald, Glenn Azubuki with you. Our Geico stats made easy. As the Warriors made that look easy to open the second quarter. Clay springs free. And he drops in a triple. He's got a dozen, and he's 5 of 10, and you can kind of feel it a little bit. Dalla playing solid D. Shot clock at 4. Conley hides behind the stifle tower and hits the three. They're in rhythm now. Utah has owned this game so far, building the big advantage. Pretty ugly four minutes with a 16-0 Utah run, and the Warriors just trying to take the lid off the basket. Jordan Poole, he's the guy to do it. They need someone to get on. DP2, they're just playing the odds, and Peyton makes them pay with a triple. He had all kinds of time to line that one up. Or the pool had Mitchell flying behind him, made the three anyway. That takes some ridiculous concentration. Bogdanovich, very tough shot. Clay played great defense there. The outlet to pool. He's trying to beat the Jazz down court. He does. 14 to 4 run. Quinn Snyder takes time. Pool three, got it. 19 and a half for Jordan Poole. Wiggins right down the line and put it over the French rejection. Didn't we just say they need to get Wiggins involved? That's one way to do it. And Draymond screened off one defender. 
left Gobert to take the brunt of it. Okay, from the foul line, perfect. And, and that's illustrated exactly what you're talking about. Gobert's not even coming out at all. Or that mid-range jumper in the pocket. Golly. Warded off Looney to finish that. It's always him that gets called out when guys say, oh, who's the most underrated player in the league? So, okay. Mid-range jumper in the pocket? Are you just calling that now every time? Yeah. Wiggins left wing three. Andrew Wiggins has been very efficient tonight. He's five of eight, and he's two of three on threes. Clay is hit three jumpers, essentially, from the same spot. Conley, that was going to be a pass to white side. Looked like he got caught in between. The pass was definitely off target, though. I'll tell you, 13 is doable right now. The Warriors just need to string it together. And Wiggins setting up Looney. Keep attacking the paint. That was MIA in the first half. Warriors have been playing uphill all game. That 16 nothing run by Utah in the second quarter gave them kind of control of this game. And Clay with the three. B2 set in the screen. Clay three. And Wiggins the offensive rebound to a dive cut Payton. That's how you get something going in the basket. Second chance opportunities. Defense is discombobulated. You can get those cuts. Payton with the steal. Payton in on O'Neal soars by him to lay it in. Uh, O'Neal didn't commit to him all the way, at least not enough to stop GP2. And a little ball fake in the direction of Clay Thompson. He's home free. Jordan pull three. And it's single digits. Uh, and Porter doing the same. Up fake on Gobert. Shot clock at 11. And Gidala will take a turn. Peyton in the corner, and his three is perfect. Cool. Speaking of floaters, that's 24 in his own right. If you're a guard in this league, you should have a floater, period. Gobert, good defense there. Clay will get it back. His three is good. See, Clay saying, okay, this is your domain down here. Let me pass it. You come on out here where I live. So Peyton, the elites at his three. Good. House at three. House stripped by Iguodala. Iguodala comes up with a stop. The Warriors are more than in it. Very quickly to begin the fourth, Utah doubles the advantage. They were up six. Push it to 12. What a pass, Iguodala and Raymond. Tomorrow, you got certain guys sitting out, which makes it tough on continuity as Andrew Wiggins knocks down the mid-range jumper. Hey, Wiggins, six of nine. He's got 14. Raymond just got rid of Conley and then with little give and go, the lay in and the foul. You can thank Otto Porter too, he sealed off that last help defender, but that's another way to attack him. If they're not gonna guard Draymond, pass and go. And Clay hits a three. Stops and scores. Stops and scores. Stop and score. And now it's a 10 point game. Oh, Clay Thompson. Tough three! Only he makes them like that. The degree of difficulty was sky high. Critical trip down, Clay three. Got it! He knows what time it is. Again, Gobert so far away from that. Clay is coming off with one thing in mind. Let it fly. Gobert blocked three. Draymond got a piece of it. They didn't even need to stop it. The Warriors had possession of the ball. Clay hides behind Draymond. A lean in three. <laughs> He's that hot! When he goes nuclear, there's nothing you can do about it. Wall for the lead! Good! An 18 nothing run! Wall, step around, go bear, get to the line! He makes them both. Single possession ball game and 100 seconds of crunch time. Conley, that strong left hand, and a nice floater makes it a one-point game. Oh, oh, oh. Nearly lost his fitted shot clock at four. Jordan with the crossover. Jordan putting it up and out. Gobert played the D, and throws it away! Bogdanovich wasn't even looking at him. And Poole's the one that's fouled. He makes them both. Conley pushing. Ooh, Mitchell three. Rebound to Draymond. They're going to get win number 49 on a 23 to 3 run to close the game. And he hits them both. What a fourth quarter by the Golden State Warriors. An 18 nothing run.
an incredible finish. And they win it 111 107. We talk about it as the ping pong part of the schedule where the Warriors taking on Houston and then on to New Orleans. A little back to back as they go on the road. And can they take their good home play and take it with them away from home? That's been the challenge all year. Everyone knows the Warriors do not have a road win. Glenn Azubuki, that needs to change tonight. Oh. Alperin Shengun, and there's Looney defending without fouling. Clay Thompson on the counterattack, and Clay just over iron and in. Step and Clay with Wiggins, Looney, and Draymond for the Dubs. Andrew Wiggins does get to the basket. So the Warriors pitching a shutout right now. Behind his back, look at Draymond with the handle. Wiggins loves the left wing. Andrew Wiggins bottoming the three, and didn't you say getting off to a good start? This is a good start I was talking about, 11-0. Clay Thompson catch and shoot three. Wiggins, my goodness, the Warriors, three of four on three. Andrew already has eight, yet to miss a shot. Clay Thompson with a lefty layup off the loony feed. Ooh. Good shot to great shot. And Steph to Clay and timeout Rockets. It doesn't get any better. Play drifting. Okay, that's how hot he is. Did you see Steph though? He didn't even look. As soon as he passed it to Clay, he's like, my Splash Brothers got this. I'm running back on defense. Clay, heat check. Uh oh, red hot. Uh -oh. 18 on six for six. Oh, uh, he's having some fun now. Steph and Draymond, nicely done. And Draymond Green, first shot of the game. Clay Thompson hanging and banking it home. Clay has 20. And reading Jermichael Green on the roll and reading defenses. Jermichael Green again. Perfect. Jordan Poole extended where the big leaper Green couldn't get to it. Really a lot of dribbling, taking it inside, and no ball movement on that possession. Warriors are two on one. Feeding DiVincenzo, the trailer to Michael to finish. That's why you trail. So an 18 to 2 run, the last four minutes of the first. And Kamika yeah. ends that in a monster way. Look at Steph on the bench. He's falling down and he can't get up. Now this rocket run is 22 to 4. Yes. See? Hey, going inside. And Jamichael and Draymond execute perfectly. And Steph to Wiggins. Oh, unable to dunk that down. And Curry out of the corner, and they trade three for two. Wiggins, that's a warm-up three. Clay on a reload three, and he needed that, and the Warriors needed that. That was the elevator door screenplay. Steph Curry for three. Defender went under that screen. That's always a no-no. So Steph is two for six with six points. And that's the deficit right now. Clay Thompson. He's got 25. What this first five minutes of the third quarter will feel like. That could set the tone of this game. Inside out to Looney. And then Steph, who had eight points in the first half and nine assists. Steven Silas been keying on him. You, you think Curry will have a big second half. That was patience. Great ball movement. They got the ball inside. Wiggins answers the Jalen Green three. So Andrews got 14. Wiggins has a new season high. Five threes in a game. Play, show, and go. He wanted him to pay that off, but he got his own rebound. Wiggins stays with a hot hand. Wiggins has 20. He's six of nine on threes. Oh, beautiful. Clay Thompson gets the easy dunk. That was going to be the split action. Clay just moving without the ball. And Steph Curry never took his foot off the gas. Yet Steph Curry unlocked against the lamp and the three. Curry turn to the corner. Steph down the lane to lay it up and in. And then Green missing that three. DiVincenzo, the long rebound running with Steph. Stopped at the three-point line, and the Warriors take the lead. That's the new age NBA fast break. And the reason that's a good shot now or an acceptable shot is because of the man that just took it, Stephen Curry. Jordan Poole going inside. So Jordan Poole is realizing this going inside thing is working. The Warriors are living dangerously. Moody got on the deck. He saved the turnover. Somehow got it to Steph. Jordan Poole three. They make something out of nothing. That was
was disaster to delight. Poole coming up with a steal. Poole pushing it back, and he'll peel out. Step around Garuba all the way to the rim to lay it up and in. They're not going to stop you from getting to the rim if you just get intentional about getting there. Clay Thompson catch and shoot. He got a three! Just moving without the ball. A little step back, well defended. Poole couldn't get it off. Now to Draymond. Ah, oh, Draymond, the naked handoff became a little floater. Use Jordan Poole as a decoy. Four-point lead in the ball. Nice! Draymond to DiVincenzo. This is a team that had 91 points against Indiana. They have 104 with seven minutes left. DiVincenzo cutting, and Dante DiVincenzo. An opportunity for a three-point play. Curry for the lead. Perfect. Steph's got 27. Looney looking for play on that split cut. Clay drops in a three. He's got 35 on 8 of 10 from distance. A.J. Martin and Steph with a D in the takeaway. Oh, he's looking at the bench, too. How you like that defense? Um, hello. Andrew <laughs> Wiggins jumped out of the stands, apparently. The Warriors are shooting 53%. They're 21 of 43 on threes. Draymond finding Wiggins. Didn't want that three. Cyclist to Clay. Another one! 38 for Clay Thompson. 9 of 11 on threes. The man who has made more threes in a game than anyone in NBA history with 14 is had it stuck on automatic from the first quarter. Steph Curry's got Garuba on a switch. As you said, pretty good defender for a young guy. Curry with a jumper. Steph's got 29. Play for three. Got it! 41 for Clay. You know he's cutting the shots down the stretch. That defender just tried to shoot the guy, came off his body. That's a no-no against Clay. Steph. The fadeaway three! <laughs> Good night is right! Oh, wow! Ford picks up Curry. Forces him to the tough shot. Which, of course, he makes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's insanity. It's wild. Eric Gordon's there. He didn't get a hand up, but then it was so good he had to jump into the night night. Put him to sleep. Warriors up 7, 127, 120, thanks to the brilliance of Steph Curry, who, by the way, didn't score in the first quarter and has 33. Thompson has 41, his best game of the season. They've made 17 threes combined in this game. I'd like to say that that has not happened by them against the Rockets, but it's happened many, many, many times in the past. And the Golden State Warriors get their first road win of the year. Steph has a little fun with it. You have to. We did it! Curry and Thompson do what they do, especially what they do against the Rockets, and they win for the first time on the road, 127-120. Well, 2022 ended with the Warrior ring and a parade. The calendar year turns over, and we begin things in 2023, and halfway through this homestand, partner, keep it rolling with the first look at Atlanta this year. Play flipping it up and in. Hey Thompson at home. I mean, he has been absolutely amazing during the winning streak, averaging 28 a game. Vincenzo, better pass to Poole, better pass to Clay. Open three, yes sir! It's only right, because he gave up the ball first. Clay just kind of dribbles into the three. Well, they're in drop coverage. Pretty good ball screen, got a piece of DeAndre Hunter. Hey Thompson, that's a tough shot. And he lasered it in anyway, he's got 11. Hey Thompson! <laughs> We said on the homestand, he's averaging 28. Well, he's halfway there with 14 already. And we got 4.30 left in the first quarter. Clay gets a screen. Driving down the lane. Dishes to Lamb. Lamb fires away. Hits a three. Left side has been hot for the Warriors tonight. Lamb buries one there. They made six threes now. Ooh, Clay with the pump fake. Lamb made one. He's made two. So Lamb right off the bench drops in two threes. Clay back it down. Holiday found Lamb. I love what Clay Thompson just did there. Clay, oh come on, come on! Shot that from the lap of Zaza Pachulia in the front row on the baseline. Just about two minutes gone by, second quarter. Draymond flashed to Baldwin Jr. Takes a quarter three and he hit it. Well, he didn't like missing those first two. You, he, no hesitation there, Tim. He can shoot it. Yes, he can. Oh, PBJ. And under, and he floats it home. Poole slows down, triple teamed out to Baldwin Jr. He's open, takes a dribble, takes a three, and it's three more points for the rookie. I'll tell you what, 
defense has been good. Yeah, come on. Clay with a beautiful assist from Jordan Poole. Raymond setting up Clay. Elbow jumper is perfect. That's pure. Clay's got 20 in the half on 8 of 12 shooting. Oh, Poole just batted it to Lamb. Saved the day. Collins with the rebound. Raymond fighting him for it. He knocked it away. Lamb will handle the break. Lamb down the lane. Lamb to the trailing Clay Thompson to lay it in. It's an important stretch because you can tell the Hawks are just trying to make it doable at halftime. Clay Thompson hitting a three. He's got 25. Clay trying to find Draymond. He just returns the favor. I love the way the Warriors are moving without the ball. Clay Thompson, three in response. Poole double, bad pass over to Lamb on the right side. Lamb puts it on the deck, stops, needs help. Finds Thompson, right corner, Clay fires, hits a three, falling out of bounds. And it was a high pass, he had to gather it back in. I thought they had no chance, but he drained it. Lamb the open three-point shooter. Clay sneaking in to lay it in. He's like, y'all don't want to give me the ball, I'm going to go get it. Clay Thompson. Uh, he didn't cool off on the bench at all. He's got 38. Cool to the rim. I think you said keep going inside. Yeah. They don't have amazing rim protection. DiVincenzo running with Poole. There he is. Play the trail three. He got it! Find that man. Since Clay has come back from injury, he's had 41 three different times, twice this year and a year ago. Dante Murray, Clay pulled an Iguodala. Just stripped it away from him. Doing it on both ends. Poole's got the shot blocker up top. Kongwu. And Jordan Speed dribbled to lay it in. Trey Young down to lane. Draymond fouled him. Trey Young made sure he got contact. And he drops them both in. Clay Thompson three. It's a one point game. It's only right. He's been carrying him the whole game. The most points he scored since he came back from the two injuries. 44 for Clay. Trey Young wanted a foul. He didn't get it. Warriors down one. Pool will turn it over. Man, you had time to work. Trey Young has it. He's using clock, and DiVincenzo reaches and fouls him and hits them both. So you need a three. Clay's got it. Corner three. Poole tracks it down with five. Poole has that three blocked. Out to DiVincenzo. He hits a three! He's tied the game! It took three chances, but the Warriors aren't dead yet! Bogdanovich. Nope. We got overtime. Bogdanovich kicking out to Collins. He'll launch the three and hit it. Oh, no. I think you said stay away from turnovers. And Jordan Poole just hasn't been all the way locked in tonight. Hand off Thompson. Waits. Dribbles on Bogdanovich. Pump fake. Stops. Layup. Good. Under control. Took his time. Made sure he got a good look. Play. <laughs> get the ball to Clay and get out of the way. Pass knocked away. Warriors running. It's a three on two if they push it. Poole steps back for the three. We got a lot of big shot makers on this team. Jordan Poole's had a weird game, but he's still got ice in his veins. Here comes Trey Young, the final minute of overtime. Speed dribble, and he's fouled. And he bottoms both, one point game. And Trey Young, the reach in foul, and the Warriors are over the limit. And Steve Kerr is going to use the timeout. Play three. Just give Clay the ball, and they'll live with the results. Hey, where's all the people that thought Clay Thompson wasn't ever going to be a good player ever again? I haven't heard from them in the last couple months. All right, they're really quiet now. This man's been throwing fireballs up there tonight. 52 points in 41 minutes, 10 made threes, and the lead again. Oh, just a flamethrower. 15 seconds. Trey Young to the line again. So tie ball game again. Clay comes to set the screen. Jordan Poole had it knocked away. Oh the Warriors don't get a shot up at all. So double overtime now. 
Clay Thompson has 52 points in the game, missing there. Tipped up and in! Collins inside. Collins missing, tipped up and in a Kongwu. Snake dribble into the lane. Jante Murray jumper, he's got 22. Poole to beat the buzzer. Off back iron. And Looney tapped it to Clay. Good look for the baseline, and we're tied again. Looney strikes again. Looney's got 17 points. <laughs> Clay turning the corner to a cutting lamb. Step through, lay it in. Clay driving. Kick it down to Lamb, he lost it. Back out to Draymond to beat the shot clock buzzer. Go! Draymond Green! Oh! A five-point lead! Ray Young. And DeJounte Murray, three, good. Clay trying to get into rhythm. Clay on a step back jumper. And off front iron. Ray Young's got it. Trey Young breaking the paint, floater in the lane. He's tied the game. That was too easy. No, no timeouts either way. Seven seconds. Draymond at five. Clay for the lead. Long. Looney tip. No. Looney, yes. Looney, yes. The Warriors win it. And your joy is full. Come on, Looney, on a 20 rebound night. His second follow gives the Warriors the win. Give that man. Just pure effort. Who wants it more? Looney is unbelievable. We welcome you to San Francisco for the conference semifinals tonight. It's game six of this best of seven series. The Golden State Warriors, a 3-2 series lead on the Memphis Grizzlies. Here's Curry getting it back with space. Cut it! Down the floor, Green, touchdown. Green pushing, dishing, Thompson hitting from three. Timeout, Memphis. As much as the Warriors want to get back and just kind of move on, so to the Memphis Grizzlies. And Draymond Green is coming out early with the energy and intensity that the Warrior fans want to see. Thompson, a deep one, is good. The trusted trio has it going on early for Golden State. Thompson shooting his third three of the quarter. If you're going against a star that has two fouls, you go at him every single time because you know his defense won't be at the level you expected. And speaking of expecting, Jordan Poole off the bench. They need a big contribution from him today, Ryan. Green, the fling down the floor. Wiggins, the finish. Curry, a three, is good. Second triple of the opening quarter for Curry. Curry tried to wiggle into a whistle, could not. Good effort from Looney. A chance for Lee. He got it. Here's Thompson. Clark hanging. Thompson hitting. clay has got a different look in his eye here in this first quarter. Their transition defense potentially needs to be tightened a little bit, but the Warriors are turning the ball over a whole lot. What do you want to see change or continue there? Cool. Too strong. Bielitsa keeps it alive for Thompson. Cut it. Fourth three of game six for Clay Thompson. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, so far, this is looking like game six. Clay stepping in and knocking down the three. This building is alive. We already know there will be two game sevens. Will there be a third? Memphis trying to force one. Thompson, you bet! Five for five for Clay Thompson. I'm having post-traumatic stress syndrome over here watching old school Clay go to work. Curry <laughs> hits the three. Memphis is irate. They think Curry. He 100% traveled. He 100% yes. traveled. Yes. That's going to be a meme later. Cool. Finishes plus the foul. He is just different. The fact that they were able to find another ridiculous, prolific, intense shooter 
to fit with this Golden State crowd when shooting is such a premium in this league. And they get Jordan Poole. He plays in the G League. He puts in the work. And now, how are their triplets Splash Brothers? It's absurd. Green able to catch and finish to end the 14-0 Memphis run. Curry comes up with a steal. Curry dashing in for two. Tied at 51. Jones to bang. Denied by Thompson and Wiggins. Here's Brooks. Gets denied by Curry. And then a shot clock violation. Outstanding D from Steph Curry. Thompson doesn't get the roll. Nice stick back from Andrew Wiggins. And I like that by Andrew Wiggins. Green to the corner. Thompson connects. Thompson now with 20. Thompson again. <laughs> Thompson will pull up from two and connect. Play is on a burner. In the corner, Wiggins bounces, green floats, Rudy flushes. Here is Curry. Bounces, green floats, and hits. A lot of high percentage looks the last few possessions for both teams. Thompson all the way in. Golden State getting it done on the defensive end. That's why they're still leading. Wiggins hits the three. That's good offense. Poole gets the step and finesses it home. Curry fading away and sticking it home. 45 seconds to go in the quarter. Curry veering too easy. Step to the cup. Thompson. We close out there for Memphis, but Wiggins hits another. Wiggins with a couple big threes in his second half. Dane again trying to get to the cup. Clay would have none of it. Four to shoot. Anderson knocks it away. Two to shoot. Wiggins hits the jumper. Big moments in this second half for Andrew Wiggins. He has 27. It's tied again. What a game six it's been. Pool up under and off. They shoot two, though. Golden State, a 3-2 series edge. A two-point lead here in the fourth quarter. Rudy has been magnificent on the glass. Bounces for Green. Green takes it home. And a little scream afterwards. 12 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists for Green. Thompson comes over to rejection. Pull the save. Looney gives it up. Wiggins, another. Oh, yeah. Off the foot of Brooks. Wiggins to the rack. Can't finish. Rebound green. Here comes Golden State. Curry alone. You bet. Curry separated. Dishing. Looney extra. He to green for the flush. Wiggins bounces green, can't finish, another chance, it's good! 19th rebound for Kavon Looney. Curry, a deep one. Shoot! <laughs> Steph can sense it, so can this crowd. First double digit lead of the game for either team. Curry has the pole, can't hit, Looney another board. He's got 20 cups and cups it in, and that might be the dagger. Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know him, let me reintroduce you to Mr. Clay Thompson, also known as Game Six Clay. Holding up the six fingers. He knows. To let everyone know he's had 25 or more in six of his last seven Game Sixes. And now his 10th playoff game with at least seven made threes. He has 30.
largest lead of the game for Golden State. It's 13 with 2.50 to go. Thompson back to Curry. Curry a three. He got it. Mark it. Time of death. Curry, a little sauce, a little icing. The Golden State Warriors are headed back to the Western Conference Finals. The Warriors with a scintillating fourth quarter hold off the upstart Grizzlies. 110-96. The Mavericks avoided getting swept Tuesday in Game 4. Staying alive in this series, and there is no margin for error again tonight. Facing elimination. Good evening, everyone, from beautiful San Francisco. And welcome to Chase Center for Game 5 of the Western Conference Finals on TNT. Warriors have the opening tip, and Wiggins will take the handle middle. Throws to Curry, lob quickly into Looney. Looney, Paul fake, goes up strong, a little jump hook on the left side, up and in over Doncic. We're tied at two. Wiggins will try to break the tie with a three. It's picked up, vacuumed in Looney. Right into power. Looney. And Thompson a three. Uh-oh. They are beginning to hit outside. On top quickly by five. The Warriors come up with the steal here. Wiggins with the pass and assist from Curry. Dallas, of course, is built for this from what we've seen in these playoffs from them. This is another elimination game they face. Curry with a three. Wow. Coach, the degree of difficulty and where he shoots it at. Again, we've never seen a player like Curry. Thompson in traffic. Fades to his left and fires and hits a 15-footer. Took the shot that was available. It's 14-5. to five. Thompson out to the wide open Wiggins. Rooney with a nest of defenders around him. It's Wiggins taking it in hard. Curry with another assist. Down to Luka. Hooks it inside. Deflected by the leaping pool. Curry... Wide open three Thompson. Thompson the fake. Poole aggressive with his shot. Good feed. Looney with Poole getting the assist. And a timeout taken by Jason Kidd in Dallas. Doncic, nice spin move on Wiggins. Rejected by Green. Curry. Green setting up three. For 45 minutes. Before tip, Draymond Green was out here shooting that very shot. There's a no-look drive inside by Poole. Looking one way, driving the other. Got the two, the lead is seven. A minute into the second. Poole, three. Thompson. And Finney Smith is on him a triple. Poole, crossover with the dribble, stops and pops at the elbow, that's up, it's good, and you're right, he can feel it. Yep, he can just see it. Left sideline, Clay Thompson, off the inbounds, fades over a double team, and hits a jumper in the corner, it's a two, and it's 40 for Golden State, 32 for Dallas. Thompson firing, that's another three. He's throwing it. Here comes Moody. Shot clock at one. He's got a fire. How about the presence of Maya as a rookie? He knew the shot clock was winding down. He looked at the opposite end shot clock to take that look. Isn't that something? That's his third play defensively that Bielita has made in this first half. On three different defenders. Curry! Bielita! Looney goes over and helps Curry on Brunson. It goes the opposite side. Johnson will drive. It's knocked away inside. Dinwiddie back in, had it pickpocketed, Curry the other way. Sleeper goes out on him. Moody, three, another triple for Golden State. Here's a drive by Green, got it right around Kleba. Bulldozing for two, Draymond Green. Green at the line, three of three tonight. Poole drives right by Doncic. Got it, 
foul. And that's back-to-back -back possessions that the Warriors have somewhat targeted Luka Doncic. Draymond to Poole. Poole stops. Chest pass Thompson. Turns. Fires. Hits another three. Clay Thompson has a 19-point half. Poole. Look away. Green. Green's got 10. Luka to a 12. Nice step. But he can't get it to drop. Another missed opportunity inside. The galloping Green. Thompson aims. Shoots. Oh! Green, Brunson will pick him up. Wiggins against Powell, crowbars his way into the lane for two. And every warrior touched the basketball. Green, good feed. Wiggins over Kleba. We got Andrew Wiggins with fade, fall away, fadeaways here. Clay Thompson curls left side, oh. but Clay Thompson's got 25. <laughs> Catching from Curry and just nailed it. Good feed, the cut, the feed. Green the assist, and Steph Curry with two. Curry and Doncic, the headliners of this series. Green, who's got nine assists. Thompson, Looney, he gets a hockey assist right there. Assist to Thompson, basket by Looney, and a hockey assist for Draymond Green. Curry pulls him around, Doncic shoots a 14-footer. That's easy for Curry, knocked it down, 87-62. The Warriors have their largest lead of the game right now. It's Curry defended by Kleba, and over Kleba. He's at two in a row. And now he's in double figures with 11. Thompson cutting inside on Bullock with the assist from Looney. It's Poole, cut and left by Bullock to the hole. Thompson takes a handoff from Draymond, skipped it over to Bielitsa, right corner to Wiggins, runs by Brunson, goes to the rim, and slammed it down! A two-hand slam for Wiggins, and that's how the fourth quarter begins. Here comes Thompson. Thompson catches, feeds Draymond. He'll blast it, goes up, and good at foul! And he went barreling into Finney Smith defensively. So Draymond Green right now has his highest scoring game of this series. 12 points, four rebounds, Nine assists, and those nine assists are a series high for him, too. Green, pool, green! Now, Exquisite passing. And now the Warriors are back to that ball and man movement, right? Clay Thompson, big night by him, a runner. Clay Thompson had eight in the first, 11 in the second, eight in the third. His first two of the fourth quarter right there, 29, Thompson. By Bullock and puts one up on the doorstep. No. Good rebound inside. Looney saves it offensively. It's over Doncic. It's a three. And a rebound by Looney again. Bielita triple. Oh! Kavon Looney. 14 rebound. Into Looney. Spinning on Kleba. Double double now. Double-double for Kavon Looney. Off the dribble, Wiggins from 15, it's good. Big shot. Dinwiddie, tailed by Thompson, into Finney Smith, out to Brunson, up to Doncic, into a nest of defenders corner. It was blocked by Curry! Blocked by Curry on the three, and a shot clock violation. Well, the newly minted Defensive Player of the Year here, Stephen Curry. <laughs> That's how you close it out. Something. Curry, Green, and a floater, and the lead is 12. Shot clock is at nine with Green. Clay Thompson. Dug out by Looney. Three, Clay! Curry, Wiggins, Curry triple. This crowd is back, they're on their feet, and their Warriors are going to the NBA Finals again.